in this house, we solve puzzles. Maybe if I... Ah, uh, geez, where is it? No, that's not it. Where is it? Maybe if I do that. There we go. What about this? <laughs> Common Zero, thank you for the pack for 18 sin. months. My power is yours. How's it going, everybody? This is Puzzle Agent. Funny puzzle game. Everyone was busy, so I'm flying solo tonight. Hmm. Let's have another look at that puzzle. It's a game about an FBI agent who solves puzzles. Ah, yes. Get used to the Grickle stare. Now, chat, don't help me unless I ask for it. Ha, 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 ha. 
The pact is sealed. My power is yours. Did it eat your impression redemption? What did you want to eat, Crispy? I gotta stop eating these gushers. Hang on. Okay. Lock warden? Okay. I'll do the lock warden. I got the sour gushers, yeah. It took they came today. It took a week. But yeah, I got the gushers. Oh my god. I feel like a kid again. They're so fucking good, guys. They're exactly how I remember them tasting. Not a single thing is different, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Fucking good, man. Was my glob following Isaac? Rotate tiles to chart a path from my glob to the ice fishing hut. But beware, lest the path intersect with one upon which a shadowy figure lurks. Do -do -do. Okay. The rules about speculating solutions. Um, you can say stuff like, I think I got it, but, you know, don't elaborate. Also, I'm drinking, so this is going to be extra funny. Oh, I bite off one end and I suck out the juice, like a normal person. Wait, how am I? Oh, okay. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay. Oh, oh I, I think... I think I need to get into there, not just... Okay. No, this is a bit trickier than I initially...
that work backwards. Is this, is this the only way we can start, or can I go this way? Is it even a good idea to go this way? I'm gonna say no. This has to be correct. This part right here, this has to be correct, because these two, or these three up here, that just won't work no matter how, what, how you flip it. Must be the work of an enemy stand. <gasps> So, no matter what I do here, if I go into here, it will lead up into here, which is a dead end. So I've got to go down. But I... Okay. Now, wait, wait, wait. I might be getting somewhere. Ah. Oh. Wait. That's it. I think that's it. That's it. That's the one. Fuck yeah! Top puzzle. Agent chat. Hang on. This 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 calls for this calls for a new soundboard. Let's do this like Brutus. Aha, Let's do this like no Brutus. Puzzle's gonna stop me in my tracks. Oh, sorry. I I, I didn't mean. Huh. They tried to, 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 to take him. The lock must not. The lock on the factory door. Key. Oh, God. <laughs> what is this thing? 
I think I found something important in the hands of a dead lobster. Badass! I'm going to hold on to it for Connor later. Connor is Puzzle King. Hail to the Puzzle King and his army of bushes. The lake with the ice fishing huts is just past the clearing. I'm going to continue on to see if anyone there seems to have this affliction. Mmm. I just ate another one because you mentioned it. Oh my god. Come and zero, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Hail to the Puzzle King and his army of gushers. Yo, we watched a man die. Ugh. Gum. Found some freshly caught fish out on the lake. We have bites in them. Looks like something has started eating them before they've been cooked. Well, that's a little weird. He's moved on to the dead house sonata in the sky. Mr. Scruffman. You following me, boy? No, sir. You look like a lost puppy. Go home, puppy. Uh, I can't leave until I get that factory back open. I have a few more questions for you. Of course you do. Hmm, okay. The killer ends up being Cthulhu. This may be the most brilliant game ever made. The premise behind this game is fucking stupid. Uh, Agent. What's his name? Is it Norman? Is it Norman Tethers? Norman Tethers, puzzle agent, has been sent onto the field to discover why an eraser factory has stopped producing erasers for the lighthouse. And he's stumbled upon some sort of maybe murder mystery? This your hut? It's nice. Nope. Oh. Well, what are you doing then? Fixing stuff. It's my job. Lots of stuff getting broke lately. Things get broken on these huts a lot? Everything gets broken a lot. Keeps me busy. Hmm. Don't get any ideas. I just do my job. I understand you have a, a thing for Mrs. Dabner. No, sir. Just think she's pretty. I expect you do as well. Where were you on the night of the accident? Busy. You accusing me of something? I'm just asking. It's part of my job to be thorough. I was working at the hotel. Okay, see? That was easy. I fucking love the art style of this game, by the way. Uh... It's, um, it's some comic book, or some newspaper comic artist. I forget what his name is. It's referred to as, like, Grickles, I think. Because... I have no idea why, but 
no, this is a very charming game. Not Greckles, Grickles. Or Grickle. Or, hang on. Puzzle Agent Artist. Oh, it's Nelson Tethers. And the artist is Jonathan Sagro. Oh no, it's it's Graham Annabelle. Graham Annabelle is the artist for this game. Uh, Where were you on the night of the accident again? Working at the hotel. Lobster. I had some lobster ravioli tonight. Speaking of gushers, I had some meat gushers too. Never. <laughs> Meat gusher? Yeah, ravioli. No. I... If you if you saw on Twitter, uh, when I had that crab stew, uh, a couple weeks ago, or like a couple months ago, uh, I had that again, and... Uh, we put some... We put some, uh, lobster ravioli into it, it wasn't as good, but it was still really good. <laughs> I think the uh, the addition of, of certain other flavors has sort of sort of muddled everything. They all got thrown together, but it was still really good. You had to go through the woods to get here. Didn't you see a guy freezing on a tree stump? Yeah. Why didn't you help him? He didn't ask. Best not to interfere with acts of nature. So you just let a guy die out there? Had nothing to do with it. The cold will creep right up on you. What? Is that illegal? Now that I'm thinking about it, clearly you've clearly you've played a part in this man's death. Willful negligence. So if you see a man who is freezing and dying in the cold and you don't help him, that makes you a criminal. That seems like one of those things that it, there's a lot of there's a lot of context that's needed. <laughs> you need to at least attempt to get help. I feel like that's the first thing most people do. They see a man freezing out in the cold, and they attempt to get some help. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Mr. Scruffman claims he was working the night of the accident. I'm headed over to the hotel to check out his story now. Is there any more gum? All right, Nelson. Go to the end. Hello again, Mr. Bjorn. Yeah. Do you know Randall Scruffman? I do. He's a good man. Good stuff. Despite his stock, 
You think he could have had anything to do with the accident at the factory? Why don't you just let things run their course? Accidents happen, Mr. Tethers. So, Randall Scruffman. He's a valuable member of this community, and that'll be enough of you trying to say otherwise. I love his voice. I'm not sure what... I'm not sure what about it, but it's the the it's it's the it's an either the accent or the way he just sounds so fed up and maybe a little bit robotic in his responses. But I love the way this guy talks. Good old Bjorn. I want him to read me bedtime stories. Christopher is leaning. He does sound a little bit like Christopher Lee. Now, now that, now we, we are in Minnesota right now. Don't think it's a Swedish accent. I think he said he was Norwegian. Yeah, he, he does sound a lot like Christopher Lee. Do you think Glory Davner's capable of violence? Hmm. So that's a no. Ugh. What was that? Heard a crash and a scream coming from inside the inn. Going inside to see what happened. I hope I won't need backup. I heard a scream. Is everything okay in here? The pipe on the fireplace. I turned my back on it for one second and boom. Okay, don't panic. I'm sure we can find a way to fix it. Rotate the tiles to reconstruct the wood stove's flute before the lobby fills with smoke. The stovepipe may be split, but all sections must rejoin to the chimney in some way. Oh, it's one of these. Am I timed? Wait a minute. What the? What the heck? Gnome was stole that? my fucking puzzle it piece. Saw yeah. a thing. It stole some pipe. Going after it. <laughs> I got gnomed. <laughs> What the fuck? Checking out. Oh my, but what about my furnace? You're all done? Yes, ma'am. I'll be calling in the FBI's gnome squad. Or the National Guard, or, or, or the... Someone better equipped to handle your situation. <laughs> oh, I see. The SCP Foundation. I'll be needing to call the sheriff then and let him know. Excuse me? Yeah, the sheriff told me to give him a buzz the moment you left town. Why would the sheriff assume I was leaving so soon? Oh, I couldn't say. So, will that be on a credit card, or should I just send the bill to Uncle Sam? What is Sheriff Bog hiding? And that lock, it's on the outside of the door. On second thought, I better stick around see this through crazy hot dish all around no one expects the no mission i think the sheriff wants me I out mean, of town who would and Lance what is think. the deal with that gear i found on mike lob i need to see a man about a furnace pipe <laughs> wow that took a turn really <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, uh, this this game sort of Professor Layton's you by uh, instead of like the little Pika Rat things, <laughs> instead of a little uh, Nelson likes to chew gum because it helps him concentrate. 
Uh, but they're out of gum. So he's just finding gum that's been stuck to surfaces and putting that in his mouth. So yeah, Nelson's a little bit of a freak too. He's got his own little eccentricities. Definitely not COVID compliant, but... Oh, I think Monty would love this game. This game is charming as hell. Someone left a screwdriver in the alley beside the hotel. Looks clean. Probably of no consequence. <laughs> and of course the game won't let me fucking pick it up. What was that thing? What happened? Did it try to eat your ear? If, if two rows are white and rotations affect orientation, then... then... Huh? Since Bo's brain got scrambled, all inputs end up in the pit of perplexity. Drag and drop arrows into all empty slots, then redirect his stream of thought to the light of lucidity. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Drag arrows from the menu to each of the highlighted spaces. Your mission is to direct Bo's thoughts from Nelson's up to the light bulb. Stream of thought will move in the direction of any arrow it hits. A brain tube will cause the stream of thought to bounce off at a right angle. Oh. <laughs> now my brain has entered the pit of perplexity. So I've got... Okay. Wait a minute, what? Drag arrows from the menu to each of the highlighted spaces. Your mission is to direct Bo's thoughts from from Nelson up to the light bulb. The stream of thought will move in the direction of any arrow it hits. A brain tube will cause the stream to bounce off at a right angle. Okay. So Nelson's speaking here. And I, I guess if it goes up here, it will go up. Okay, so hang on. Let's let's work this out, chat. Hang on. So What we need is we need to get from here to here. So I only have one, two, three, four, five things I can affect here. So if Nelson's voice is coming out through here, continues on. Bounces up. Mm 
And then if I move an arrow. Oh, I see what's going on. So if if it goes in this way, it will come out this way. And if it goes in that way, it will come out the okay. All right. Hang on. Hang on. So we're thinking. Should be immortal. Mad Tom K, thank you for the follow, dude. Um, so if if it comes out here, goes up here, we go right. Then it'll go up and it'll come back down. Okay, if we go here, it will go up, go right, it will go up. I might be onto something there. Hang on. No, hang on. If I can only go left and right, I need to get to here somehow because getting. Getting to here means that I can go up and then right. No. No, we can't rotate the pipes. We can only use these up here. And we can put them in here, in, in these boxes. So the highlighted boxes are the only ones we can put them in. So. And don't help me, don't help me. I'm gonna figure this out by myself. And the power of gushers is going to help me do it. Man, I really should slow down on these things. <laughs> I know where I need to get. I need to go over here somehow. Go up and then go right. I think... I think that's the only way I'm. I think that's the only way I'm. Getting to the light bulb. Wait, so if I. Go like. Oh, well, I'll be damned. Hang on. So, you can't fool me, game. I've played Goof Troop for the SNES. Hello? Oh, fuck. Wait a minute. Fuck. Place the arrows to... Okay. Wait a minute. So I have to use the box? I have to use the box.
So... Wait a minute. There you go. So... My new plan of attack is... If I have to use the box, then I'll go up here, and then it will go up here. Okay. All right. I didn't know I needed to use all the boxes. So, I just need to add, and then it will go here, go up here, go there, and then if my logic is sound. Hello? Aha! I did it! Well, that was a very interesting puzzle, but... The whispers of the moon crashed too loudly. The whispers what? Clear the path. Another gear. Hmm. I'd better not. <laughs> I got your pipe back. Let's finish putting this back together. Okay, take two. So... Is that it? Rotate the tiles to reconstruct the wood stove's flute. Before the lobby fills with smoke, the stove pipe may split, but all sections must rejoin the chimney. Okay. Um. Does that do it? I think that's it. I think that's our ticket. It splits off, but... I think that's the way to go. If all of the sections are... 
Yeah, other than it being uh, looking a little crooked, I mean, I don't see anything. There we go, that looks a little better. Let's try it. Looks good to me. Look at all them taxpayer dollars. Yeah! I am a genius. There you go. Your stove's all fixed. Why, thank you, Mr. Tethers. You FBI types sure are handy. Thank you. Can I ask you something? Of course. You seem relatively coherent. Do people ever talk about seeing, um, little people in pointy hats? Oh, the hidden people. Yeah, it's an old Nordic superstition. My grandfather used to tell me stories. They say they live among us in the ground. We're <gasps> fucking among us! <laughs> I just know the. <laughs> Sorry, I think I, uh, I think I spaced out for a second. Gave them the Nikes. Right, uh, back to puzzle solving. Uh. <laughs> the ones that live in my window. Uh, hang on. <laughs> I'll be right back. Let me grab a drink.
Mountain. Still fucking laughing. I got myself a little sliver of uh, sour cream pound cake just now. Pretty friggin' good. Was Mr. Scruffman working here on the night of the accident? Yeah, the fence outside was a terrible mess. I think oh, some kids were trying to rip it down or something. Did it take him long to fix? Oh yeah, all night. If you're still looking for suspects, I'd start looking at that Bjorn fella. But you didn't hear that from me. Oh, so she doesn't like Bjorn. Put the spaceman back. I'll put the funny spaceman back, don't worry. <laughs> Bjorn is sus. That's gonna be our fucking raid message for tonight. Hang on. I'll put Redmond in the corner here. Now, all you gotta do is, uh, to draw the funny spaceman, all you need to do is draw a jelly bean and then give it some lags. And then we gotta give him the Tims. Ah, fuck, wait, I can't. Oh well. All right. Yeah, there we go. Can you tell me anything more about the hidden people? Oh yeah, tourists love the stories, but Bjorn and his friends take them very seriously. Oh? Oh, yeah, they don't like the decorative gnomes in my window. Having relatives in Minnesota, I can confirm this is how they talk. Uh, especially my aunt. How about a hat? We'll, we'll give him a, a distinguished... The gentleman's topper right here. There we go. That's a handsome fella. Oh, don't you, don't you accuse me of lying, Balmung. I have relatives in Minnesota. I know how they talk. Ah, don't you know. Gotta go to the store and get a bag full of groceries. <laughs> I think Asmo Nara might be a bit sus. When well, Mr. Scruffman's alibi checks out, my glob is dead. And I just saw living garden gnomes. I think I'm going to head back to the diner and have a chat with Sheriff Bob. No, oh, before I do that, I'm curious about these cogs. None of these gears fit on this door. Really? None of the... Hmm. Odd. Okay. Let's go back to the Moosier Diner. Bjorn is gone. He vented. Bjorn vented. Mm. Mm. 
Man, that sour cream pound cake was so good. I was tempted by the light in your eye. I was tempted. I checked up on the repairman. He was working at the hotel on the night of the accident. Alibi checked out, huh? He's in the clear. He couldn't have been involved. Hang on. I need to do something very important before we uh, continue here. I've just got to... A funny fart noise. There we go. <sighs> Looks like farts are back on the menu, boys. Smolf gang. <laughs> Have you looked into Bjorn and his friends? He seems to be an avid environmentalist. Perhaps the accident is a political statement. Nah, Bjorn's always been a major part of this community. Since even before my badge was pinning up my diapers. You wore a sheriff's badge on your diapers? This is a community that celebrates its Nordic heritage, Agent Tethers. Not one that advocates violence. Have you heard about this hidden people superstition? Hidden people? Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, You had me going there, Tether. A government agent investigating elves and hippie legends. <laughs> uh, yeah, how'd you go in there? Well, sounds like you have had a busy day. Let's wrap it up for today and start fresh tomorrow. But you haven't really done anything. And we're no closer to getting that factory up and running. Agent Tethers, I'm not from the big city. Around here, we take our time. Keep our heads clear. As far as I can tell, everyone's heads are filled with puzzles. <laughs> puzzles are a way to keep yourself from asking questions you don't want answers to. What does that mean? It means I'll see you in the morning, Agent Tethers. I've been to a small town like this, and it was fucking freaky. I'll tell you something. You never fear you never feel more like an outsider in a town where everyone knows everybody. I shit you not. I go to this diner in this small town with my friend Stu. And we're up there at his mom. We're up there. And I'm staying at his mom's house for the first time. This is like one of the first, one of the first few times that we ever hung out. Uh, my friend Stu, LMG1, for for people who aren't aware. Um, and we go up to this small town, and it's where he grew up. And we go to this diner, and he and. His mom was like, oh, you should try the fried mushrooms here. They're really good. And I said, oh, that's strange. I've never had fried mushrooms before. And... <laughs> it was very strange when most of the sound in the diner died down. <laughs> and a lot of people turned around to look at me. I'm not making this up.
Never comment on the food? I just said I've never had fried mushrooms before. But, like, f like five people turn around and I'm like, oh god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> but they came back and they gave me a free, like, sampler platter of fried mushrooms. And I tried them and I'm like, these are really good. But... <laughs> I've never felt more like I was about to be killed than right in that moment. I'll tell ya. Small towns are freaky. They're cozy looking, but they're freaky. They've just got an entirely different energy that I am not used to. They're... <laughs> They're friendly enough, but it seems like they don't know how to interact with people that are not from there. <laughs> it, <laughs> it was surreal. <laughs> I'll tell ya, I thought I was in like the Truman Show or some shit, cause... <laughs> I've, I've like seen media where that shit will happen and I'm like, oh, that's just, I'm not sure that's just all fancy talk. And the waitress looked horrified, right? The waitress looked like I had just shot someone. She looked at me like I was some kind of strange animal. <laughs> and it was so freaky. And obviously it, it, it ended up being all right. They gave me some free food, which was really cool. But in the moment, I got really freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody ganks until town cor a small town corners you and ask, so you never had fried mushrooms, eh? No, they were good, though. They were really tasty. Help wanted. Ooh. Varsity Muskrats got after-school jobs at Hank's window shop, but they can't skip football practice. Help them complete a pass without breaking any glass. Uh... Alrighty. I became the Chupacabra. <laughs> no, they were nice enough people. It was just... a little strange. Local cryptid distortion devil. Oh, that needs more mix in it. Hang on. There we go. There we go. That's what I like to see. It was a record scratch moment. The only thing it missed was an actual record scratch, but my mind... <laughs> I have autism. I don't like it when people stare at me. <laughs> Protoss, thank you for the five bits. Who is a big old diamond? Panic does. He's also got a big old... Anyway, gotta 
figure out this football puzzle. So what? Oh. Oh, hang on. Help them complete a pass without breaking any glass. I'd like to reiterate that I am not saying anything against sm small communities or small towns or anything like that. Oh, look who's a smart boy. God, the endorphins. <laughs> There's nothing like the shot of fucking adrenaline that you get when you see that top agent symbol, baby. The dolphins. Yeah, Panic's got two portable holes, if you know what I'm saying. Well, that takes care of that one. If you can throw a grenade, you can throw a ball. These gears fit on this door. Hmm. Let's talk to some other Hello people. again, Daryl. And Daryl. I don't see the waitress around. Did she go somewhere? That's a good question. I ordered some key lime about 20 minutes ago. Mm. I imagine Pang pulling out the goods in front of a lady and they pass out from the bit. <laughs> ah, God, he, he never just whip it out. He has some class. I love me some key lime pie, man. Not the green shit either. The fucking, the actual stuff. I was tempted by the look in your eyes. How the hell do they have key lime in Minnesota? That's a good question. Crazy! Man. I'm Larry. This is my brother Daryl. This is my other brother Daryl. Look at the 420 bits Blackfoot Ferret. Okay, this might sound silly, but have you guys ever heard about hidden people? My cousin's neighbor saw one once. Oh, not this again. He swears they're real. So do those Nordic tree huggers, but that doesn't make it so. So the hidden people are just a bunch of make-believe then? Yep. Not according to my cousin's neighbor. Those chairs weren't here before, were they? Nope. One of them Nordic guys brought them in right after I ordered my pie. Pie that I'm still waiting for! Hmm. Something odd about them. Something spray-painted on this stack of Escher chairs. 
and range them in order to discover a secret image. Escher chairs, like MC Escher. Is this some sort of weird sausage man? something going here. Oh god, I might have just fucked it up. Is that it? What is it? It's like a moon that's spitting at a tree. No! It's upside down! It's a gnome who's spitting at a tree. Interesting pattern, but not the one you're looking for? What's missing? It's gotta be right side up. How in the world do I do that? That was my fault. I forgot about that part. Excellent. That 
image you just made? That's the symbol those Lodge guys use. Really? Interesting. What do you guys know about Bjorn? You mean the old hippie who spies on people out by the hotel? He's one of those old Nordic guys who hangs out at the Lodge. Brothers of Skagens or something like that. Brothers and weirdos, if you ask me. Lodge, huh? I'll check it out. The quicklings are at it again? God damn it. How are you doing, Steve? Do you know anything about hidden people? Collectors will pay a tidy sum for a wooden one. But you don't believe in them, do you? Do I seem crazy to you? Out of curiosity, anything else you want to tell me about these birds? They're smart. I once saw a black-bellied whistling duck open a car door and steal a cream cheese danish. Wow. <laughs> I have no idea that why that was so funny to me. It's, it's the delivery. The <laughs> Nelson Tether's delivery just wow <laughs> oh man oh. loner Steve has an order of ceramic gnomes ready to ship and here comes his avian mail carriers Draw lines to attach freight to the bird legs, keeping these rules in mind. A mallard can carry two gnomes per leg and an owl 1.5 and a bluebird 1. Birds may team up on heavy loads, each carrying what he can. Freight must be balanced evenly between a bird's two legs. Lines can't cross or the shipment will become tangled. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I think the easiest one right here would be. This is two. Right? That's gotta be it. I am a genius. Statistically, I am really good at puzzles. <laughs> My head is like the top 2% of heads. Well, that's a lot. Well, that wasn't so hard. Goatest of all time, absolutely. Bjorn is starting to look more and more suspicious. I just got a tip that he holds secret meetings in a local lodge. I remember seeing something about a lodge on my Skagen's map. I wonder if it's the same one. I've only messed up once, and one of them was a fluke. What you looking at there, boy? Oh. Ooh, piece of gum. So I need to go to the lodge. Have I played the room series? Uh, 
I have not. Connor really said intelligence is not my dumb stat. I should try escape room puzzles? Uh, I've tried an escape room before, and I was really not that great at it, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. I think it was... I think it was... I think it was the combination of, like... A bunch of people being there. I expe I have it. I expect you to die. I love that shit. That is my jam. Although that's really weird. I, I expect you to die is less logic puzzles and more poke things until they work. I expect you to die is really out there, and they're making a sequel, and I'm very excited. I'm very excited for the sequel. I'm out of my elements in the natural world. I mean, you're not wrong. It's, yeah, I expect you to die is essentially like a James Bond themed escape room sort of deal. And it's really fun. And they're making a sequel, which I'm very excited for. Borskop of Skogen. There's some bright orange cloth caught on this sign. I wonder if Mike Lobb was trying to get away from this place in a hurry. Hmm. Oh. Piece of gum. Looks like someone doesn't want me to see what's going on inside. Well, they probably shouldn't have made this a puzzle then. <laughs> Draw a single straight line from one red dot to another that will slice through every barrier blocking the window. Hmm. A single straight line from one red dot to another that will slice through every barrier blocking the window. So it's got to intersect with every single piece of material here. Is it this? No. Is... Wait. No. Is it this? No. Is it this? Yeah. It goes through every single piece of thing that's in here. That's gotta be it. Man, I want some more crabs, too. 
Yeah! Let's go! Oh my god, I'm just so fucking good at this, you guys. If you want a good look around, you might try knocking on the door. Sheriff Bob! Oh, you startled me. Snooping doesn't suit you, Agent Tatters. What are you doing here? Nothing. <laughs> Foolishness, Sheriff. Foolishness. Mike controls everything. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw Glory Dabner in there. The waitress? I doubt it. She was standing right there a second ago. What the heck is going on in there? They meet regularly and celebrate their cultural traditions. But that's their business, not yours. There's something about this crew that seems off to me. Agent Chathers, you're here to get the factory back open. Not to question or belittle the beliefs of the townsfolk. Time to go, Agent Chathers. I'll escort you back to the hotel. Make it an early night. Turn in, Agent Tatters. I don't want to see you out here again tonight. And trust me, you don't want to be out here either. Well. Sheriff Bog definitely is a is fucking working. dickhead. I'm sure I saw Glory Davner at the lodge. And now Glory Davner is sneaking around town. I'm going to follow her. Oh shit. Also, who the fuck does this guy think he is? I work with the FBI. Nelson still got snowmobile trouble. Rearrange the log so he'll track through all the the, the footprints before arriving at Glory's destination. And... Okay, so I need to hit. I need to hit all the footprints before arriving. down here and then I go over and up here and then I go back over and down and then I Hmm. 
get those three. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, this could be a lot simpler. What if I do this and then I go No, that doesn't work. Wait, what if I can hit the loop again? No. What if I... Uh -huh. and... Wait. Do I? No, I don't hit this one. down over here up Wait, why wouldn't this work again? Oh, right, because I need this one. reverse psychology this what if we're going down boom go up boom go this way boom go down but now how do I get to the center I think some I think I'm missing something here. So I think the only viable way to go is to the left here. So we'll go down and to the left. Fake boobs inspector. <laughs> so, I go down. I feel like I'm missing something really obvious here. And I can't tell what it is. I go down. Bounce off. Maybe if I draw it out. Hang on. Maybe if I... Maybe if I draw it out. All right. So let's go with the orange this time. So I start from here and I bounce off this log. Wait a minute, I think I just got it. I go through here, bounce off this log. Then I go over here, bounce up here, take a log. Hang on. On his way to the mystery. Okay, so no, I don't think that would work actually.
So he's here. I need him to I have two, four, six, seven logs to work with. Hmm. What if I did put a log there? What if I bounce this one? I think it's got to go to the left. Hey, what's up, Shay Lunaradia? We're solving puzzles. So, obviously, this one right here is the correct choice because I don't think any combination of stuff on this side is going to get us where we need. So the thing is, do we need to hit every footprint before we get to the mystery mark? Or do we need to hit every footprint as long as we hit the mystery mark or do do we need as long as we hit every footprint the mystery mark doesn't matter if it's not going to stop us at the mystery mark then the correct pattern should i think be Bam. 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 Oh, no. No, I've done something wrong. My, my calculations are off. Maybe I do need to fit it into the right somehow. Hang on. So. If I go this way, then I hit it over here. Because if I go through this, then that's done. I think as long as I hit every footprint, the question marks don't play a factor. If they do, then this is seriously going to fuck me up. Okay, so... So, I 
five go boom 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 doesn't work because then I'll go down up no matter what I think of this right here this area It needs to have a log facing this way. That's the only feasible way, I think. So my initial couple of assumptions were right. The This log placement right here is correct. So, need to figure out, or, or, you know, a log could be placed like this, and then we'd get the same result, but obviously. That would mean that we need to, so... Uh, we still have this one we need to get to. That leaves us with one set of footprints that we need to get to. Wait, 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 wait. I think I've got it. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I think I've got it. So. Ah, that doesn't work either because I need to. I was thinking go over here, bam, 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 bam. But then we've got this. Nelson must hit every footprint on his way to the mystery spot. So right away, he's going to hit these three. Goes down here. Mm -hmm. 
If he runs into these trees, he'll crash, I think. So we'll go down. Yeah, those are just set dressing. Uh, should I use a hint? I feel like I need some rules clarification here. Okay, so if I go down... Go left... Got these three taken care of. We need these three taken care of. If I went like this. Then I'd only need to have this one left. So I go like this. Go like this. And then I get all the finger or I get all the footprints. But then how am I supposed to loop back around there? Cause there needs to be something here to get us to here. No, there's not enough. Take the logs? No, I can't. Fuck it. I'm gonna use a hint. I will need to use every log on the grid in order to solve this puzzle. Okay. So, no, that does help. That does help. That means I I do need to use every log. That's another rule I need to abide by.
So if I need to use every log, that means I'm going to make seven turns. I have to make seven turns in order for this to work. So that means. That narrows it down a little bit, so we can... <sighs> Obviously, we're going down here. Does that mean we do need to go to the left, right then? Because if we no, we still need to end up here in order to go to here. Because we can't place a log in any of these spaces. Right? Right. So, What direction does the last turn come from? That's a good question. It can it can only come from here or from here. Wait, no, you can't see. It can only come from here or here. Because I think the last turn is going to be going in here. That's the only way I can think of. Work backwards? Good point. Okay. So, working backwards, this is the only possible way I can think to end this. So, in order for us to... Hang on. No, that doesn't work. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, I'm chewing my nails, I'm thinking. So, this is true. Have a drink? I think I will. So,
But now the thing is we need to end up here. No, I don't think it's going to involve that much. So, what if where can you can do this? Let's go. We go bear. One, two, three, four, five, six. Doesn't work. work. <sighs> Why did I stop smoking? <laughs> All right, chat. I need. I need another hint. We gotta move on from this one. I've got twenty-two pieces of gum. I can afford another hint. Worship me, immortal. So I was right for this. Why didn't I think of that? Hang on. So. Wait, no, that's stupid. What the? That's it though. That's that that's it. That's got to be it. Too many glaciers. I want to crack open another pack after that shit, honestly. I feel like I need to crack open another. No, I've had two already. I'm not going Lori to. was headed toward the factory. I gotta catch up with her.
fucking gnomes. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh, fuck! Ah! Oh no. Oh, what the fuck? Well? I think we've gone too far this time, gang. We are now in Among Us. He just doesn't have a lot to say. Where am I? Wait, do I know you? You. You're the foreman, Isaac Davner. What happened to you? What are those things? The gnomes? Was that real? <laughs> yes? What is it? <laughs> what? Oh. Uh. Okay. So Isaac Davner has returned to Monkey. This is getting out of hand. Wait, hang on. What was I doing? Draw paths to reconnect the loose ends. Red to red and yellow to yellow. I'm, 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 guys, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm, I'm doing wires. enough of that. You looked away for one second we're doing fucking wires, man. I'm doing wires? That is so sus. So let's see how this... Assuming these wires can't be crossed. Don't let the wires cross.
Oh! Okay. Hang on. Uh-huh. <laughs> ah! I'm the puzzle master now, baby! Oh my god, yeah! I'm not sure why the sled fucked me up so much. I played Goof Troop for the SNES. Watch your child learn to walk. Shut up! I bet you couldn't do this any faster than that. Oh, it was just a dream. Oh, what happened? I found you unconscious in the woods. Did they speak to you? Did who speak to me? Now, I'm no anthropology major. But what sort of Nordic tradition is is this? Huh? Why is this game so creepy? It is eerie, isn't it? It's a little unsettling. Even though it's very cartoony. Yeah, a dude died. A dude died right before our very eyes. Cult shit is always creepy. Okay, I'm gonna need some real answers now. What exactly is going on here? What's wrong with these people? They are in deep meditation. If you open your mind and let yourself hear the whispers, there will be no mysteries in life. You cannot solve. Speak to them yourself if you want solutions. What are these little creatures I keep seeing? They are not creatures. They are people older than any of us. Living in what nature still exists around us. Isaac Dabner's still alive, isn't he? The lock on the factory door. He didn't build it himself. You put it there to keep him in. Or to keep people out. Why? He has been spoken to. It is actually a great honor to have been chosen. Chosen for what? That is not for us to ask. I'm gonna need a second to question these people. Do what you must. <laughs> this game just keeps getting weirder. Graham, what the fuck is wrong with you? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> you see them, don't you? Listen to their words. Their riddles. Edvard? Edvard. When the edibles kick in? Bruh. I think if I was high and playing this game, I would have a meltdown. Edvard knows it's time to stock the... Wind, wind, Windowachi, Windowachi River with Gricklebacks. Drag the four clutches of fish to release points. Keep in mind these rules. Okay. Schools will swim towards the river, splitting evenly at each fork. A school that can't be split evenly will be paralyzed with indecision. Marsh marmots will eat all fish who enter their turf. Marmots are either in 
Mythpic Marsh or Abdominal Swamp, but not in both places. Exactly 16 fish must arrive safely at the river. No more, no less. Is this NASA? Will I be certified by NASA if I complete this? Okay, hang on. Schools will swim toward the river, splitting evenly at each fork. A school that can't be split evenly will be paralyzed with indecision. Marsh marmots will eat all the fish that enter their turf. Marmots are either in Mythpick Marsh or Abdominal Swamp, but not both. Exactly 16 fish must arrive safely at the river no more, no less. There are three, seven, thirteen. Twenty-one fish in total, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, right? So there are 21 fish, and 16 of them need to make it to the river. And if the marmots can be in one of these places, but not both, is there a way we can manipulate that? So clearly, we want to get all of these fish down here so we can have eight guaranteed. And now we just need to get eight into the remainder. So if so These split off evenly. It means three go down here and three go up here. That means that this. Oh no, wait a minute. If they can't split evenly, they'll be paralyzed with indecision. Okay, so this is not going to work. Okay. Eight down here. We need sixteen. Three. 
three will branch off and then three become six and then it'll split off into threes again. 9, 10, 11. I feel like this is it. Right? Because we get... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Splitting off of the three. They make six. Split off into three again. Yeah, we don't know where the marmots are going to be, is really throwing me off here. Blow up the Marmites. That'll work. I'm gonna go blow up Marmite. Okay. So, going up here. Eight. We have eight... Twelve. Wait. You do a Wolfgang Squid Baby Massacre in the swamps? Hey, that was Denier, I'll have you know. And they deserved it, too. have this now it means that three are going to branch off here and here the three meet up with these three they'll branch off three here and here if these get eaten by the marmots we'll have three in here And then three will go in here. Uh, actually, this will be five. Five because two will go here and here. Uh. And then these, these two will join up with this eight to make ten. It'll go out here for a grand total of eighteen. 
Now something tells me. Something tells me. Dead Trout Sonata. Something tells me that I'm going to have to have exactly 16 fish in here. No more, no less. The rules say I needed exactly 16. Okay. Have you tried going to the left? I have not, uh, famous uh, Twitter user Siggy Koo. Hello, famous Twitter user uh, Distortion Devil. Hey, how's it going, Siggy? Amazing beard. Oh, I do. I, I'm not going to lie. I really do have a pretty, pretty amazing beard at the moment. You better, you better uh, like it, or else. It's Siggy! Hello! Oh my gosh. I'm doing a funny fish puzzle. I'm seeing this, and I'm like, what is this? It's It looks cute, but I... It's, <laughs> it's Puzzle Agent. It's like Professor Layton, but for Steam. Oh, I've never played Professor Layton. I've only played Phoenix Wright. <laughs> it's, uh, it's more or less the same concept i guess it's logic puzzles yeah you have to like well i know you have to like uh puzzles i'm just really bad at puzzles that's my fault <laughs> so so you're trying to get of... like what 16 i am trying to get exactly 16 fish into this swamp right here um the i can i can place them into each of these four quadrants but when they split off, they have to be even, or else they all get stuck. Okay. So, all right, so I'm assuming if you put them in, like, one place, they'll, like, go down to the stream that you want them to go to or something? Right, so if if, if I, like, say, if, if I put these eight here, then I would uh -huh. have eight fish going in here uh -huh. into, the, into the main river. That would go towards my total. If yeah. I put these four right here, they would split off, and then two would go over here, and then two would go down here and join the other. The other. So I auto I would automatically get ten from that. But then these additional two that go up here, that's up in the air because they can get eaten by marmots either here or here, but not both places. Oh. And you said you need 16 in the swamp? I need exactly 16 in the river. Oh, okay. So if... I would say put the one with the most amount of fish in A or B, in case, like, since you said that a lot, like, some could get eaten in the swamp or the marsh. That might not be a bad idea. Yeah, so, maybe put that there and that so there. So if I were to do it like this, then this would mean that four fish would split off here and four would split off here. Yeah. But wait, no, that would make this... Okay, hang on. So four would split off here and four would split off here. Yeah. Which means that each stream would have... Wait, no. This stream would have four in it. So at least six in each. This stream would have... F this stream would have... Six in it. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Let me just... So... The top one will have six. And the one going down will have... So, this will Four? have... No, wait. Five, because of... Uh... No, wait. Yeah, just like three. Never mind. This will have four going into each stream. And then when it meets up here, it will have... Six. Split off evenly, that is... Three and three. And then with four Bulky, fish did I get it already? Here, she got it immediately. 
Uh, let's four see. So that's four. four. Oh, yeah. Four plus three is seven. That's... I have to like look at your stream to do like what you're doing because I can't uh, see what you're doing on the on Discord. Four plus three is seven, and then three plus three is six. So, if the theory holds up that the marmots will eat the three at Mitpick Marsh, then that means six plus three is nine, plus seven is sixteen. Yeah. Purpose floor, purpose floor equals eight, not sixteen. Wait, four plus four equals eight, not six. Where did I four plus four? Where did we four plus four? Oh, hang on. Wait, was no. it the top stream? Yeah, four plus two is six. Yeah, by two is three. Yeah. That's four. No, it's not. You add the whole thing. Let's let's just test it out. We could just test it, right? We can, but I'll get penalized if it's wrong. Oh, you'll get into the penal zone. Okay. So hang on. Let me just go ahead. The four isn't splitting. God. Marsh marmots will eat all of the fish that enter their turf. The marmots are either in Mythpick Marsh or abdominal swamp, but not both places. Oh. So I think the goal here is to get... To I get as like goal... must much fish in either on the top, the, I'm assuming. Uh, the goal here is to get these two numbers to be the same. So no matter what, we'll end up with the same result. Yeah. Maybe we could switch the the uh, amount of fish in six and four, like switch those two. Maybe that might help something. That four isn't splitting? What the fuck do you mean? It's eight. God. It's eight divided by two, so that means four goes both ways. God, I, God this is why I failed math. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, trust me, I'm right up. I'm right up there with you. That's why I'm having such a hard time with it. Math is so damn hard. I don't know how people are able to do this, especially division, because I was abysmal so at division. This is fraction. eight. This is six divided by two is three divided by two is four. That four is going this way and this way. So. This is one way to get kids to, like, figure the math out. So how do we get these two numbers to be the same? If these four go up. Well, apparently we're close, so... Mm. <sighs> fuck hints. We're gonna be big-brained about this and, and fuck up ourselves. Do we switch these around? we switch these around? Switching the three and four? Hmm. I do have hints. I do have hints. So, eight fish divided by two is four, which goes here and joins up with these four. Wait. What? 
I'm doing this all wrong, aren't I? Hang on. I'm he doing said, this all wrong, aren't I? Maybe. So this is eight. Divided by four yeah. is two. Yeah. And then it's joined by four to make eight. So this eight divided by two becomes four, plus four is eight. Divided by two is four. So this is four and four and four. I can't believe I, I overlooked I, I'm something gonna say, so simple. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes, because that sounds right. <laughs> Like you say, two, four, four, two, four, eight. I'm like, ah. So that's eight and four, four and four. And then four go down here. And then six divided by two is three. Okay, somehow, even when I was looking at uh, your thing, if, if, if it was wrong, I somehow was still thinking, yeah, I was like, the eight will divide off into four. The top part will be eight, and it'll divide off into four again. Oh, wait a minute, now I'm stuck again. Because if if I go into this assuming that it will eat, it will eat the most fish. The marmots will eat the most fish. So six divided by three, or divided by two is three. I, I say. Plus four I, is seven. I say try it out because if it's gonna, if the mar, if the uh, the little other fishes are gonna be in the swamp or the marsh and they're gonna eat most of it, um, because you needed what fourteen? I need sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Oh, uh, let's see. Common says we should switch the eight and the six. That I feel like. Hmm, so maybe because I'm like trying to do this on the on a little calculator, too, but I don't know. So if it does that so six, six divided by two. Hang on. I'm going to delete all this. Six divided by two is three. But common says never mind. <laughs> it's why whatever. are you even chiming in? Don't it's help okay. me. We're trying to figure this out. It's a group project, okay? Everyone's okay. voices matter, especially the one writing it down. So, this divided by two is four. Four go here, four go here. This makes seven. Mm. This also makes seven, but this makes five. Wait, no, this oh. makes seven. No, yes, this makes seven, hmm. which can't be split evenly. Is it this? Is it so that this one? divided by two is three. So three and three, and that's six. And then three, and then three. But that's still a problem. Obviously, here the evens need to go to the evens, the odds need to go to the odds in order to get our intended result. 
Yeah. We need exactly 16 fish here. So it's... We automatically have eight going in here. Yeah, that goes up to 14 if you have everything what if, they were. What if the most obvious thing is is the correct answer here? No, that won't work. So, four divided by two is two. So two go down here, which means 10 is automatically in the pool. We automatically have 10 in here from this path. Mm. Now we need six. So two goes over here and three goes over here. So two plus three is five. five. And three plus three is six divided by two is three which means three is going in here and three is coming out here that doesn't work that's either 13 or 15 which is not what i need well, if both the threes go, you'll get 16. So we have to hope the uh, the fish that is a five gets eaten, and the three and the three on top don't get seen at all. You're right. Because they can't exist in both uh, places. Yeah. So if the, if the five being the bigger number gets eaten, then the three and three go through, and that is 16. I'm yes. I'm going I'm going with that. Yeah. Uh let's hope God is on our side. Ah, ah. nice. Remember whether the marmots are lurking in the marsh or the swamp is exactly whether the marmots are lurking in the marsh or the swamp, exactly sixteen fish must reach the river. Okay, hang on. Alright, game. <laughs> I am not good at math. I am trying. It's like, you know, the effort is there. You gotta say, you gotta admit that the effort is there. We're not looking the answer up online. We're actually trying to figure it out. We were close? Okay. Well, it shows that we're there. We just gotta really, uh, get it. That actually makes me feel better, just knowing that we were very close on a few occasions. Which is why it's at school. It's like, don't double, uh, don't double, like, uh, question yourself or some shit. And I'm like, listen, it's hard. Sometimes my first answer isn't right, but then what it is, I'm mad. Because I'm like, this sounds not right, but then it's right, and I'm like, fuck. You know? Really? Yeah. Especially with math, it's weird. Like, I wasn't the best, uh, student in math. Like, I knew how to do geometry pretty okay, but that's because I like shapes, so. But everything else I was not great at. They always made it really confusing for me. 
And even when I did get something right, I'm just like, this math hurts. The only time I like math is when I'm counting money. And uh, I guess measuring and cooking. And even then, I can't do it outside of that uh, properly. I get things close, but not directly. Like, I could see, like, like an object. If I see an object in front of me, I could probably get the space right if it's going to go somewhere. And I'm like, yeah, this is big enough to go here and there. Variety pound cake from Schnooks is going to show me the answer. Apparently we were close on two occasions, Connor, so we were getting it there. We just had the wrong answer at one point. Just so really I annoying. think... Maybe it's with like the, uh, the even number fishes are on the back part. And... It I think in order for our answer to be true, we need... Both the Mythpick Marsh and Abdominal Swamp to be the same number. That sounds like it's a plausible thing to do, yeah. So let's just try that first. Yeah. Before I do anything else, so. Well, you do that, I download mods for Sims. Ooh. The Sims. <laughs> I haven't heard I that I finally redownloaded it because I was watching Tabby play it, and I'm like, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna get those, like, uh, those, like, mods where the characters could actively, like, do the boning, because why not? <laughs> <laughs> Sheep a derpa. Sheep a derpa, ah, Smorgle. Smorgle. Bapulani. Haha, <laughs> Smorpadeka, Doc Doc. Or some shit. Crap a doo. Quirky Flarpa. Haha, <laughs> don't quirky Flarpa yet, my guy. So have 16 more hours to go. Smange Tumpus. <gasps> my Tumpus. So, if we want to get both McFish Marsh and Abdominal Swamp to have the same number of fish inside of it, then... I feel like the odds would need to be here because then it only branches off the one time and then it doesn't matter. So this branches off into two and then this becomes five, but it passes through anyway. So... This becomes two, which branches off into five, which results in five. And then two go over here, and then three goes this way and this way. That becomes five. And then this becomes, no, I think I fucked up again. Hmm, maybe, yeah. Uh... I just now noticed that only one of these... No. I lied again. Two of these numbers are odd. So, wait a minute, what if I did this? What if I switch those two around? What if I put 
But if I put six here, then that would branch off into three and three, making this nine. And then this would be four, which gets split off into two. And then this becomes eight, which becomes No. It wouldn't be nine, it'd be six. You are absolutely right. Numbers are hard. Numbers are hard, and I've been drinking. I kind of woke up after waking up a few times today because I was awake till like three in the afternoon. Okay. So, <laughs> revise mathematics. So, four divided by two is two. Mm -hmm. Plus eight is ten. Divided by two is five. And then three plus two is five. And then three plus three is six. And then this is five. So either way, no matter what, one of these fives getting eliminated will result in a five, meaning that that is 16. So the correct answer is this. All right. Come on. Putting those taxpayer dolls to good use. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. Ugh. Finally, my tax dollars are in a good place. I feel like I solved world hunger. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a piece of the machine locking the factory. Where did you get that? Oh, Jesus. I'm looking at a photograph of the brotherhood. The solution to hunger Isaac 16, and Mike Law fish? seem to yeah. be part of this group, and they seem to be friends. Interesting. I don't think so, Agent Tethers. I need to get the rest of the broken pieces from the brothers to fix this. Rocks, trees, animals, do you ever just stop and watch the birds, Mr. Tethers? Mm. A quorum of crows congregating in rows on a line meant for clothes is an omen of woes. There's so many puzzles in this goddamn game. Stupid fucking game, but they're stupid fucking puzzles. Give a man a fish, and you feed him for a night. Make Connor do math for 16 fish, and he destroys all of humanity so we don't have to worry about hunger ever again. That's a small price to pay for fish. Small price to pay for the destruction of humanity. I mean, it's more economical than uh, cryptocurrency. <laughs> it's true. I had a bunch of seafood tonight as well. Oh, was, really was good. it good? Oh yeah. Oh, oh, that was really good.
Bjorn has photos that show a quorum of crows on his clothesline, a dark omen. Keeping in mind the images may overlap, what is the minimum number of crows pictured? I'm afraid of dark omens. Fuck him. Let him be scared. So pretty much they're, they want to know how many crows there are. What is the minimum number of crows pictured? Assuming um, these are going, uh, like looking at this from the bottom, that's like on, that's like starting at one point of the clothesline. And the last picture that is also like on more on the left, on the top is like the other end of the clothesline. That's what I'm assuming immediately. Mm. Because you don't see other birds on either side of the, uh, the blue ones. Could be the middle, maybe. I have to get a paper to do this, fuck. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, that's why I mean, like, um, like, same birds on multiple picks, but I'm assuming, like, Like, I'm assuming there's two of the blue ones, but I know I could be wrong on that, too. Hello? Yeah, I'm just thinking. Hey, Eric, we're doing a puzzle game. I see that. Yeah, we're trying Hello. to see how many crows there are in these pictures. I see. How you doing, Connor? I'm doing quite well. How are you, Eric? Uh, I'm tired, but I'm all right. Good to hear you that you're both. all right. Yeah. I'm counting crows. Oh, man. The band that made that one song from that one Shrek movie? I was going to say, I was like, isn't that a band? I thought it was only true in fairy tale. Man what for someone else, me? but not for her crows. What was that to get me? Ah! Oh my god, there's mm -hmm. love. I got shot down by love. Cupid is a piece of shit. And then and I, I saw, saw a crow. Now yeah. I'm a believer. Shit on my head. Go down in my mind. That's a bird. That's a crow. <laughs> so what have you worked out so far i've worked out um i think i've worked out that there is only one blue jay in this picture although that could just be a ravings of a madman yeah i'm yeah. like trying to figure this out too and i'm like uh... the... looking at this that kind of tracks i'm that's what i'm thinking i'm thinking there's only one blue jay in this photo also, I'm starting to think this is less about Missouri, or less about Minnesota and more about Missouri, because the Cardinal and the Blue Jay are both state birds of Missouri. 
Hmm. Huh. The Blue Jays are actual state bird, and then the Cardinal is our baseball team. So it might uh, as well be our state bird. Uh, hmm. Well, I think the I think the Blue Jays do matter, uh, clanless Elvarg, because they tell us where it. They they give us a consistency point, I think. So I'm just gonna let me go ahead and draw up something here. So yeah, I'm trying to draw it too. Gonna try and so, piece together the whole photo. Right. So this is our line. The way I'm thinking it's going, I'm thinking blue jay right here. Yeah. Crow, crow, cardinal. And if that's the case, then cardinal, cardinal, crow, and now it's just a matter of do you think then that uh the one that's right next to those two is the same as the one in the top right photo so then there would be another crow and then another cardinal maybe so it's cardinal crow crow blue jay Cardinal, Cardinal, Crow. And then... I think it's... Cardinal... Crow, Crow. Cardinal Cardinal Wait Croco Cardinal Crow. Cardinal. Crow. I think that's what it is. So, Cardinal. So, it is Cardinal. Crow, crow, blue jay. Cardinal, cardinal. Crow. Cardinal. Crow, crow. That's what I say when I'm mentioning Crow. Cardinal. Crow, Cardinal, Crow. So that would mean there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven crows. Yeah. And there could be more, but this is just the minimum that it could be. Right? You know what? I'm going to use a hint. When the images are superimposed correctly, there is a blue bird at each end of the line. I okay. was right. That helps I significantly. Right. So there it. are right. there are two blue birds. So yeah, I was right. Woo. Okay. Fuck you. That that uh <laughs> Literally, me seeing the blue birds, I was like, there has to be two, because that should be the, the biggest hint they no, have. I, I got tricked. I got tricked. I tricked myself. 
I I was thinking there was I only one. This, I, I also it. got tricked by that. I was the only one who when got the, this. I'm, I feel smart now. This when is the great. images this are is superimposed is. correctly, there is a bluebird at, at each end of the line. Yeah. So there's two bluebirds. Okay. So that means that this is the end of one line and this is the end of another. Okay. That's what I, I said this earlier and some of you were like, nah, that can't be it. And I'm like, no. I... I was one of those people. I I, yeah. I thought I thought I was going somewhere with that, but I, no, no, I, apparently you, you I kinda, wasn't. It's okay. So, I, <laughs> that is I just, very I just, helpful. I just want mm -hmm. to. I feel I never do this, so I feel happy for <laughs> once. I feel smart. <laughs> but it's very helpful. So that means that our new timeline starts like this. Blue Jay. Blue Jay. I don't think he can move Which, the pictures. I wish no, we could. I can't. That would be. I w that would be helpful, but instead I have to draw on my fucking uh, stream here. So, uh, first, uh, the beginning starts like Blue Jay Cardinal, Cardinal Crow, and the end is Cardinal. Crow, crow, blue jay. Mm -hmm. And now we have to figure out how the rest of these pictures factor. <laughs> I am going to make a... <clears throat> Hold on, wait. I gotta think that this more can be gone. So there, there are at least three crows in this picture in the in the whole line there are at least three mm. i i had to hesitate saying your name twitchy anal <laughs> <laughs> but congrats on getting it <laughs> oh god okay um <laughs> So the the third picture No, that wouldn't work either. Hang on. You know what? I have my art program up. I'm going to do this myself. <laughs> Fuck this little video game. <laughs> it's forcing my hand. It's like SAT all over again. Uh, Keeping in mind the images may overlap, what is the minimum number of crows picture? So, it's at the very least three. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out which... So, there are two crows that are side by side in three of the pictures and i think those must overlap is what i'm thinking as well yeah. yeah yeah but i'm just trying to figure out which one would be which well okay the one the third one can't be those two crows can't be the same as the one next to the blue jay obviously What if it was? What if it was? Okay, so. So it is. Start of the line is Blue Jay Cardinal Cardinal Crow. What if it's Cardinal? Cardinal Crow Cardinal That's my cat. Crew. Wait, what 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 what
Wait, so if it's Blue Jay, never... Cardinal, Cardinal Crow, into my Cardinal Crow, right, Cardinal Crow, Crow, in... Blue Jay. Uh, Connor, I put it in um, general stream text chat. I'm assuming that's the order. Hey, Chewy. That's my cat. Also, He's not helping. Chewy. Hello. Hey, Chewy. Hello, Princess Boots as well. Thank you for the raid of the party of 10. Hey, I'm Boots. doing puzzles. So, I'm thinking. Hey, Connor, I'm thinking look in that... voice stream text chat because I think I got it, but I that's just me super guessing. Let's have a little look-see here. I think that so you think it is Blue Jay, Cardinal, Cardinal, Crow, Cardinal, Crow, Cardinal, Crow, Cardinal, Crow, Crow, Cardinal, Crow, Crow, Blue Jay. Yeah. So Let, to just, get the minimum, just... we have to find the way that it overlaps mm -hmm. the most. Cardinal, Cardinal. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I was overlapping each picture. Should we shop? That, that makes sense. Yeah, because uh, they said Crow, things Cardinal. Overlap. Crow, Cardinal, Crow, Crow, Cardinal, Crow, Crow, Blue Jay. In that case, there would be seven minimum, seven crows. Hmm. I'm thinking it would be. If we're getting the minimum number of crows it could possibly be, I'm thinking uh, it is Blue Jay, Cardinal, Cardinal, Crow. Cardinal, Crow, Cardinal. Crow, Crow, Blue Jay. So he's just being a baby. I gotta just give him catnip and he'll be three, fine. Four. One, two, three, four. So four? Well four is what I'm getting. Well if you're getting four? Because there are those there are two separate pairs, I think, of crows. But then there's also, like, in the fourth picture, there's that crow that's just sitting on its own. Oh, no, you're right. You're right. So there are two pairs of crows next to each other in this lineup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe Siggy is right. I yeah, because when I was looking at uh, the two crows that were next to each other, and I was like, okay, I'll put those on top of each other since there are two cardinals, and then there's like the blue jay at the right side of the picture, so like things are just kind of overlapping entirely. Yeah. So if I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, uh, I tried. So if you're yeah. right, then the total would be seven. Yeah. I think that's right. I feel like it's seven. Let's try it out. My taxpayer money. <laughs> uh, I tried. Seventy-five thousand dollars, Siggy. Listen, that's a lot less than what certain presidents have spent. Okay. What is the minimum number of crows visible when the photos are fully overlapped? Okay. What were your guys' answers before mine? Like, was it like four? I had four. It could be four then. Although no. 
because you're because there are okay i i thought it was since there are two blue jays in this photo and they're at the end of each line then it would be blue jay crow crow or cardinal cardinal crow oh let me see so there's less than seven and more than four Wait a minute, what if it's... What if instead it is... Wait a minute, wait a minute. What if instead it is this? What if it's Blue Jay Cardinal Cardinal Crow? <laughs> Cardinal... Crow Crow? I'm like moving these around now. I got six. Cardinal. Like now I got six when I moved like one picture around and overlapped a little more than I did before. Like I'll show you. Like here's what I got after like actually doing overlay. You got five pupusa? Uh, okay. I'm seeing six. Yeah, it might be six, might maybe five. But I think it could also be six. Like after updating what I did. Oh, well, people are saying it's five now because apparently Pupusa Monkey is right. So I guess. Well, I, I say six because that's a nice even number. Yes, I just need to inflate this a little bit. What's another twenty million taxpayer money out of the window going? There you go. Here's a hint, chat. If somebody says a thing but we don't realize it's a spoiler, don't say it's a spoiler. Yeah. There we go. If Pusa Monkey's fired if, if it's not five. <laughs> <laughs> he's right, he's getting uh, chicken nuggets. Oh, you're right. Ooh. Chicken nuggets for you, Pupusa. No, Pupusa gets banned, actually. <laughs> uh, someone banned Pupusa Monkey? No! <laughs> I'm kidding. But did you get five, Connie? Uh, well, apparently five was the right answer. I got six. I, I also had six, so... You know what? Looking at the overlay picture that you did, Siggy, All I right. think... Really... So let's see exactly how this went down. When the pictures are fully overlapped, only five crows are visible. Yeah, because Eric's looking at my picture, and I did, like, more opacity to properly overlap, and Jesus beans, dude. So I think you could have, like squished one of the pictures even like further in and it would have still overlapped yeah maybe and that would have gone fine yep that's probably it then yeah i might oh. have like didn't squish one enough where i had one picture on the on the wrong side and that's why i didn't get five which is fair it feels like i'm in school all over again <laughs> except we're doing this for fun <laughs> yeah that's why i'm not stressed i love fun that's it. I love Only having one with my friends. Piece. All we can do is open our minds. The language of the <laughs> hidden ones is expressed in puzzles. You just talk so fucking weird, and not See, just because of the chefs. accents. Okay. Hello, I am. Teeth. Hello, my name is Microsoft Sam, but in the Nordic. <laughs> Don't you jolt me, boy, Hello, my name is Microsoft Siam. <laughs> Would you like to try some of our healthies? Hey, so you used FBI resources? Ah, oh, if only. Ah, oh, fuck. May I cook you some? The probability is you'll be able to solve Skilder's riddle. Okay. Skilder. 
Blind Lars Jorgensen's mother knitted him 25 pairs of socks, five striped, five plaid, five spotted, five argyle, and five with owls playing fiddle. Okay. Argyle, that's like the diamond pattern ones, right? Yeah. Okay. I think so. Gotta write this shit down. I'm gonna use my special pen to write things down. Being a teenager, Lars failed to pair his socks and threw them randomly in his drawer. As a Boy, teenager, that's a does. big fucking mood. Oh, yep. How many socks must Lars pull out before he can absolutely be certain he is holding at least one matching pair? Oh God. Uh, two, five, six, or ten? <sighs> okay. Okay. So he's got five striped. Well, it's, it's plaid. five pairs of socks, though, so it's technically 50 whole socks. So 25 divided by four is five, 10, 15, 20. Four, eight, 12, 16. No. Wait, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Five striped, five plaid, five spotted, five argyle, and five. So five divided by five is five. Five? It's five, right? Or am I stupid? Five it's... divided by twenty-five divided by five is five. Yeah. It, it so... can't be five though, because it's possible that he could have just pulled out one <laughs> of each individual one. So. You okay? Does any of us deal yeah. with this in I real bite life? My nails when, I bite my nails when I think. <laughs> oh, okay, Do, I wasn't sure if you'd like swallowed a bug or something. Question, does any of us deal with this kind of issue in real life? No, all my socks look the same. <laughs> well, I'm not blind. I, even if my <laughs> socks were mismatched, I didn't give a shit. I think, I think you have to think about it in the total number of socks, so 50 divided by 5? 25 pairs of socks. So, 50 socks in total. So, 10 striped socks, 10 plaid socks, 10 spotted socks, 10 argyle socks, and 10 with owls playing the fiddle. How many socks must Lars pull out before he can be absolutely sure he is holding at least one matching pair? This is why I dropped out of school. Something tells me it's five, but I'm also thinking it's ten. I, okay, so when I did the math, I also got six, which I'm like, what? Question okay. mark? Explain the math you did. Uh, let's see. I, 25 divided by four. And I got 6.25. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Divided by four? Because there's like four sets of fives. Like five striped, five plaid, five spotted. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't see that other this five. This can Never be mind. solved oh. without math? Never How? mind. <laughs> Never mind. I, I didn't see that other five. I'm wrong. It's, it's how it's the lettering. Everything mer merged together. Papusa, with the name Lars Jorgsen, do you think he lives in a place where you can wear sandals? He's not in fact. Keep in, keep in mind, we're in Minnesota. Exactly. You know what? Exactly. <laughs> I'm thinking it's ten. Because it says to be absolutely certain. I don't see how you'd be able to be completely certain with less than 10. Chewie, you're not helping if you can't see. Do you know the answer? 
How many hints do I have? I you have 22. Hints. Don't overthink this one. How many different patterns are in Lars Saw collection? So I, th I'm I'm thinking it's ten. Wait, how many? I think it's five. Patterns? Five? Yeah, twenty-five divided by five is five. Uh, but it's how many individual socks must he pull out? Though is the thing, not how many pairs. How many socks uh... must Lars pull out before he can be absolutely certain he's holding at least one matching pair? Oh. Uh... Well, then it could be ten. Then my money is on ten. If I'm wrong, flog me. I'm... I'm thinking 10. I'm also thinking 10. <laughs> I'm going we'll flog you guys. And we all flog together. Uh, ah! I did it. I'm assuming it's five. Yeah, I'm going like, to also nine. assume it is, it's five. I hate statistics. <laughs> what the absolute what? fuck? Okay, then, the la then it should be... I'm assuming it's six, because that's the other... No, wait, no, never mind. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Then it's two? How many socks must Lars pull out before he can be absolutely certain he's holding at least one matching pair? Hmm. Yeah, this, this question is, like, incredibly worded. Not great. It's fucking sat ass question how many these. types of socks are there there are five the five striped if five they want plaid, a matching pair, five spotted it... five argyle and five with owls playing the fiddle then it might be two if they want a matching pair like one you need one of each then plus oh. one to make a match i'm assuming two oh. then it's six then it is six what was my bad what? accidental mathematical thing right? Oh my god. <laughs> 226,000 taxpayer dollars. Oh god my god. It. My 25 divided by 4 was right. I'm so mad. I'm gonna... Oh my god. This game is <laughs> ruining my life. Six is correct. If there are five different sock patterns, then Lars only needs to pull out six socks to ensure he's got at least one match. Fuck you. I'm, uh... You know, you... There is nothing like a puzzle... There is nothing like a puzzle game to make you feel like the smartest person in the world. There's also nothing like a puzzle game to make you feel like a complete fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but if nothing I'm like a, a genius! Oh no! Okay, but nothing like a puzzle that makes you have your accidental wrong answer be the right answer. That's all of the pieces. Now I just need to reassemble them. Reassemble them? Uh, Why do these guys pieces. look... <laughs> There's a lot of weird nothing. shit going on here, dude. Like, like, stuff is being reassembled and there's gnomes and... They're better than kidnapped and, and shunted into space and... There's some weird Cthulhu shit going on, and I'm not sure what's happening here. There better uh, be weird shit happening. Gosh, That's what I want in my puzzle game. Especially if, like, Mark is gonna have 11, 11 uh, like, watermelons and eat three of them, and then chuck at least two of them at his friend. Was that a question? No. Oh. But it might as well be. <laughs> you could have fooled me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that's how silly questions are for for SAT shit. I always hated it. I never taken the SATs, but I know how dumb they are. Grandma's gone wild. Thank you for the redeeming a hydrate. Ooh. Okay, this seems simple enough. Oh, what ah, the- ah, 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 Oh, God. That was scary. Nom! Damn it. Where are you, you little thief? You piece of shit, give me back my glass. Hmm. Fucking no. That was, that was scary. 
That's what I do on a daily basis. Oh my god, not again. Oh my god. Oh my god, not again. What's this? Not again. What's this, oh, Connor? It's fucking goof troop for the SNES. Oh no. Uh, I've never played Goof Troop, so I'm gonna assume this is the worst thing in the universe. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, holy oh. shit. I fucking hate this. So... Do I need to use all of these? I'm gonna fucking blow my brains out. No. So, all right. Here we go again. Well, Let's do this. Sorry, I sneezed. Bless you. Thank you. Obviously, this is the first move. Oh, this is a... Oh, somebody in chat said this is a goddamn lasers and mirrors puzzle. It absolutely is. So, oh. what if... What if I just... Went like... Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Drag logs from the menu onto the same grid. A log can be dragged into any free space. Nelson's snowmobile will start off heading south. When it hits a log, it will bank right or left depending on the log's orientation. Oh, that's Nelson not must too run bad. Nelson must run across every gear piece on his way to the factory. Press submit when you think the logs are arranged correctly. Wow. It didn't say anything about having to use all of them. Hey, Tabby, we're doing puzzles. You're doing puzzles. For the love yeah. of God, you, I, I... You missed us doing a math puzzle, and we got, like, two questions wrong, and the annoyingly obvious question was six, where I accidentally got that right. Because I, I, I... Put it down. <laughs> I felt like just going to bed right there. <laughs> <laughs> And then another Yeah, no, I I didn't see it either. I didn't see it either, Clanless Elvarg. I did not see the goal sign either. So. So. Sold. Sold. Oh boy. So what if what if I and hear me out here. Uh-huh. What if I did something <laughs> Like this. Also, how are you doing? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know. Uh, Getting over COVID. Oh, well, I hope I hope you start to feel better, Tabby. Everyone, wish Tabby a get well soon. Do it, <laughs> everyone. Everyone. So, what if I did something? Like this. Oh shit. I think the problem is that those two logs that are already placed on the map. Oh, I can't shift those. Well, that throws a huge fucking wrench into my entire plan. Okay, um... Alternate suggestion. Maybe try doing it from the from the end point backwards. That's what I keep getting suggested, is to go backwards. That's usually how I do this kind of thing. Alright, working backwards. Let's see here. So, this endpoint, these question marks, are where we need to get to. Zenlita, recover or else. <laughs> <laughs> S 
so. So. Let's. So I've been muted. I, is the question mark the endpoint? The question mark is the endpoint, as far as I know. Okay, so I'm gonna. And these three logs right here cannot be moved. <laughs> so I'm thinking. Okay, wait. So what's? I I just came in. What's the puzzle? I need to run over all of these pieces of glass before I can get to this little question mark thing right here in the lower right uh, in the lower left hand corner. Okay. It's a mirror and laser puzzle, basically. Yeah, and they yeah, gave much. us so, one I'm thing already. Thinking... So you need to run over every piece. Yeah, I'm thinking. It's something. I mean, so what are like it does does it go in a line? Does I, each of I have. I have all these logs in the corner in order to like bounce myself off of different logs and stuff, depending on the orientation. Okay. I don't, I don't know if I need to use all of them, but like, I don't think you do. It would probably have specified if you needed to. Yeah. So, okay, so uh, it goes in a line and it bounces off these logs. Okay, I see. Right. And we yeah. start and we start from where the snowmobile is right up here. Yeah, okay. if if you have Connor's stream open, he's uh got a drawing program on that he's drawing lines over the thing. Yeah. I'm John Maddening this shit. Yeah, I'm like doing it too on my thing and I'm like, uh Okay. This is the worst for me because I I used to play Goof Troop for the SNES all the time and this was nothing but these kind of puzzles and I'm fucking furious. So, um, let me think here. Yeah, this is a. Uh... I'm assuming like he could bounce off of the logs, right? If they're like next to each other, or no? They go damn, damn, damn. Like, damn. For, for example, that first log that he hits is going to launch him to the left. Let me just... Okay, because I'm, uh, I'm thinking, like, if he was going left towards the top left log, and then there was another log under that, and then it will bounce him to that one piece of glass that is, like, right there above the uh, question marks, and then he could bounce off another log. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What if I hang on? Bam, 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 bam. No, that's not gonna work because I can't put a piece of glass right there. Fuck. Uh, you can't put them on the pieces. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Oh, wait. and you can't put it in the way either. Fuck. Wait, no, wait, wait. So I go bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. No, that won't work. Man, I'm like thinking like the Pokemon Ice thing logic. You know that one gym I think with the ice or the oh, key. Oh yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Of. I think you might be screwing yourself up by doing the initial first log. The thing that one is, was I already can't... there. This one is. Wait. But you could put one in your way before you reach that one. Mm -hmm. I could, but then I would yeah. need to. I I would think I would need to utilize this log at some point. You, you, right? Yeah, you will to end it. It'll bounce you towards the question mark. Oh, hint gum! Give me a hint. Ignore the log in the lower right. Oh, fucking piece mm -hmm. of shit! <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Tabby, this is the second time that either that, <coughs> that someone else was right about something because we did a bird thing earlier, uh, and they yeah. pretty much said what I said. I was um, I was looking at it and I was like, yeah, that log's not gonna help you. Okay, so in that case, get over here. 
I'm gonna put all of these logs back. Yeah, let's look and clear up your lines because I think it'll. So. It's like Portal 2 all over again. <laughs> um. Hmm. Let's see here. Hmm. I'm assuming you could still use the logs if they're placed down, right? <clears throat> like you could bounce off of them if you already bounced them off. Because I'm seeing something. Yeah, but it. Uh... Hang on. Here's what I'm thinking of right now. Right now, I'm thinking of like going in a reverse spiral here in the middle here to try and get everything in line, but I'm not quite sure. So let's go down here. Go here. That'll bounce you down. And if bounce you put a down. Lock right there. Then I'll go over here. I, I think I figured it out. I'll I show you that. And then I wait. What if I what if I what if I bat and then I bat and then I bat? I put I, it in stream text chat. I think I figured it out, but I could be wrong. Wait, what if I what if I bat 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 Well he I think I, I might feel like I'm wrong, uh, but it's an assumption. Yeah, I mean, the only, I, hmm? I mean, Siggy's got a pretty good markup, but I don't know. I don't know how these logs work. Yeah, I don't know either. So this is like me assuming a pa like the way, but I don't know how if how well, the thing is yours doesn't use the one on the bottom right. Which apparently, she doesn't have to. It's said to yeah, you ignore it. Apparently, well, the one it, in the bottom right is not used at all. So it, it doesn't have to be because that's well, why. Well, it's it said to ignore it at first. It'll fall into place later. Is what the hint said, right? Really? Did it? Ignore the log in the lower right corner. When the others are arranged right, Nelson won't hit this. Oh, one. Nelson won't hit this one. Oh, okay. So my thing all could right. be right. Yeah. So yes. So this log will not be utilized at all. Yeah, because so the first log you put down, that's where I just put, that's where I started fuck to. this log right here. Yeah. Awesome. All right, so I misread. So yeah, my markup could be right because I actually like doing these kinds of puzzles. Yeah. Since yeah, you're right. Each log could be used like. Like I'm assuming like that, multiple times. Yeah, because if you hit one from the opposite side as well. Yeah. Yours does make sense. <laughs> Let's see what we got going here. So yeah, each corner is a log, pretty much. We're thinking that from here, Nelson's gonna go bam, 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 bam. Uh oh oh. Yeah, you're right. I didn't even, I didn't even think to factor in the min that way. Okay, so a log, a log pointing this way would, would, it would bounce you off the other way when you no, go around. I, no, that's right. That's right. I, I completely neglected to think of it like that. So that. Wait, no, but. If the log is like this and it goes like this, then that would mean it would go into this column, right? Uh, well, there there was a corner that Siggy didn't draw a log. I I didn't draw some corners, but pretty much each corner is a log. I I I'll make it more uh, obvious. One minute, give me a sec. That's my fault. Because I can't place a piece. I can't place a log <coughs> on the. On you, the yeah. Oh, you can't... that's right. Yeah, you're right. Fuck, I did so, fuck it up. So. So this turn right here would be in, would this. So wait, then you could actually use the bottom log if I move one log over. 
Well, you could, but it, if, it said that he if, doesn't. If the, the game is saying that I don't use the log, then I think I'm going to defer to the game and say I don't use that. Oh, then if I do that, then you miss a piece of glass. Beans and rice, dude. All right. I was close, but I was off. Jesus Christ. Okay. Cheese and rice. This again. <laughs> Cheese and rice, beans and rice, sugar, so, honey, iced tea. Bam, bam. Bam, 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 sweet home Alabama. Bam. Bam. <laughs> can you add logs after you started? I don't think you can. No. Now you have to prearrange them. <coughs> you have to prearrange. That's how these puzzles work. Yep. It's all or nothing, baby. I mean, you're kind of on a right track. So just ignore the entire left or right lower log. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. Not now, Chewy. <laughs> Not now, Chewy. Science is being done. Like, I fed him earlier. He has litter. He's fine. He's being a baby. Good on. God. Cat. What if I did this? What if I tried this? What if... Can I make a suggestion? Absolutely. Um, the one right below the dude, can you just drop it like one? I. Square. That one? I can. Okay. okay, so then it would be bam, bam, and then this would be the only one we'd be able to turn at. Yeah, okay, so I'm starting to see like an arrow effect here. So if he so... goes down. Put one there where it sends him down. And then on the bottom here, have it where it sends him to the right. And then another one that sends him up. Oh. No, no, no. Put that one next to that one. Are you starting to see what I'm doing? Uh, oh, I see exactly uh, what you're doing. I'm, I'm seeing what you're doing. Uh, 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 and then if we have one go this way. Uh, uh, okay, and let me think. Uh, let me think. Yes, send it to have one below that glass, send him to the right. Wait a minute. Oh. Hang on. Duh. I like writing this down too. Yeah. Oh. So hang on. <laughs> Let me just. just... <laughs> Bam. 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 Oh, that end in any game? I think Bam. I remember that, yeah. Yeah. Bam. 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 That's it. Yeah. I had to so think I about need... it for a moment. <laughs> so I need bam. 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 
Yeah, that's it. I think. Yeah, that's it. Abby, you're a genius. <laughs> Not really. You did it. You did it. Puzzle brain. Tabby, so you saved our tax money. We took tax dollars. <laughs> I'm glad I could just be a help. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they told us not to use the bottom right log as soon as they said that I was gotcha. starting to figure out a plan. One of those things stole the last piece I need to get into the factory. Looks like it's headed toward the lake. Bjorn's people may try to protect it. I'm not sure. Either way, I'm getting that piece back. Just break in the factory, dude. Yep, snowmobile do it. <laughs> Might want to erase the screen lines. <laughs> hmm? People can't see because of the screen lines. Ah. <laughs> well, I'm glad I could offer my services. You did it, Tabby. Thank you, Tabby. We always love your services. I appreciate you all the way. We did it. So I need to go to the wood. This man is dead. Yes. Tabby was sick, so she colored a unicorn like picture for Tabby and said, Get better, kitty lady. That bitch. Told Amelia that Tabby was sick, so she colored a unicorn picture for Tabby and said, Get better, kitty lady. Aww. It's really sweet. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. She murdered oh, an no, FBI agent. Oh, no, it's Silent Hill shattered memories all over again. Jesus Christ, lady. <laughs> the key to the skylight is inside one of these dead fish, but which one? Hurry and find it. The ice fishing hut is sinking fast. And then I got a Twitch ad. Oh, God. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Twitch, you fucking hack company. Well, let's take a watch it on Discord, so. Uh, each fish has one other fish inside except the one with the key. Counting swallowed fish, the whiskered red fish is the least numerous kind here. All fishes dine on the next rung of the food chain, except tiny tan fish who eat their own kind. You were like Smolf Gang? Oh god, alright, here we go. Hang on. A key is on a line with five fish. I've gotta give the man what he wants. I gotta give the people what they want. Hmm. Uh, my TK, my TKO sure isn't here yet, but I'm assuming it's coming in a bit. I haven't been checking the uh, shipping.
Oh, man. Um, hmm. There you go. There's some Ulf gang right there. I hope you're satisfied. Little man's. And if you're not, don't blame me. You can blame my artistic skills. <laughs> <coughs> Each fish has one other fish inside, except the one with the key. You have two fish Count inside of you. <laughs> one is gay. One is gay. The, gay. the other is gay. You are gay. You are, you are gay. gay. <laughs> Counting swallowed fish, the whiskered red fish is the least numerous kind here. All fishes dine on the next rung of the food chain, except the tiny tan fish who eat their own kind. The key is on a line of five fish. So for me, he is on a line with five fish. For me, like if it says, especially if the key is on a line with five fish, I feel like it's gonna be on one of the lines with three fish because if two of the fish have eaten another fish, that's four, and then the one with the key is five. Whereas Strong. the one with four fish on it right now would be too numerous, even with a key. And so it's also saying that I'm trying to figure out what the the relevance of the second one. So that means that there kind are of that means that there are more than four of each other kind of fish. Kind of mad that Big Slappy and Chat is right on this two plus two equals fish. <laughs> So the third, this one right here would be, wait, so each fish has one other fish, in, has one other fish inside of it. Yeah, because they dine on the next rung of the food chain. So Except the, the one, one with the key. Yeah. So each red fish would have a blue fish inside of it, mm -hmm. unless it has the key. Each blue fish would have a green fish inside it, unless it has the key. So Beach green. the key is on a line with five fish. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. That's two numbers. This would be one, two, three, four, five. Five. Yep. Five two, key one, or? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. So it's on either of those. Wait, oh, so we're trying to figure out which individual fish it is, too. Because you could click on each of the fish. Oh. Uh, <laughs> why okay. do you have to go and make a thing so complicated? Actually, I don't think it is. I counting don't see the way. Counting swallowed fish, the whiskered red fish is the least numerous kind here. So mm -hmm. let's see. Uh... Let's see, let's see, let's see. There are see. at least five of each other kind of fish, even if we can't oh, see them. Hold on. Uh, so. Yeah, so that. So All that fishes food dine food. on the next rung of the food chain, yeah. except tiny tan fish who eat their own kind. Yep. Yeah. So, two, four. And the key is on a line with five fish. So, eight. Okay, so it's, yeah. And then, two. Six. Wait, each fish has another one inside of it except the one with the key. So, um, this is going to be my wild <coughs> guess based on the hints, but I think it's the top red fish, but that's just my guess. So, 
I'm thinking for sure it can't be any of the bottom right ones because there have to be at least five tanfish. Which means each of those, both of those green fish have to have one and that tan fish also has to have one. So red ate a blue, then ate a green, then ate a brown. Well, no, it, it's each fish only has one other fish inside of it. So right. So like the blue fish inside the red fish wouldn't have anything inside of it. I think the way this is one of those word puzzles that are set up in a way that's supposed to trip you up. Each fish has one other fish inside, except the <coughs> one with the key. I think it, I think Tabby's right that it's the top red one. The top red one, mm -hmm. because because there have to be five blue fish, blue fish, uh, and there have to be five green fish at least so the the one on the the blue one on the top line has to have uh a, another green in it and the blue on the uh bottom line has to have a green in it otherwise uh there would be less green fish than red I fish i agree no i think you're right saying all this i'm just thinking of that one uh Taxpayer dollars into this one guess and this right. Hey. All of us brain huge. You're you're all welcome. Yeah. Tabby's brain, Tabby's brain is massive. Tabby is just It it's because the way it's one of those word things that are worded in a way to make you overthink it. <laughs> but it was easily pointing to the red fish. I yeah. Hate it when they do that. <laughs> So that, that lady close call. straight up tried to fucking murder us. Yes. What the heck happened here, Agent Tethers? Sheriff sure, Fox, Glory Dabner tried to kill me. Come on, Tethers. You sure that sweet little girl? Sheriff, I swear, she is not as innocent as she looks. Okay, I'll go find her and ask her a few questions. You stay out of trouble now. No, I'm going to go into trouble right now. The fuck? And they cause a situation. I am a member. I am a member of the Federal like Bureau of Investigations. It's warm in my office. It's quiet in my office. There are no maniacal gnomes or chainsaw-wielding waitresses in my office. I need to get back to the lodge, fix that gear, and get the hell out of here. You can say hell, but the guy can't say heck. <laughs> well, he's just a small town sheriff, Listen, you know. Agent Tab. Nelson Tethers has never had to do anything harder than a crossword puzzle in a <coughs> newspaper. <laughs> this is his first field assignment in a long, long time. <laughs> also... also this is yeah. really weird, even for a regular FBI agent. Yeah. He has to do puzzles. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, the local the local police department is like is like you should be answering two tethers, but like <coughs> No, they're undermining him at every possible turn. This entire this entire town is against tethers. That sounds about right. Small town. Everyone's in the gnome cult. <laughs> Grabs gun from trunk. Shits gnomes. I'm glad my I'm glad my love of playing puzzles for fucking fun. <laughs> it's paid off. Powerful. Oh yes. You remember when old games? That's what they had to do to like keep you from progressing super fast they'd have to like put puzzles in your way to <laughs> it's it's like deadly premonition but a little less weird i just agree it's <laughs> just as weird as deadly premonition just oh, without is, the pot lady this is maybe as weird as deadly premonition 
We just need the pot lady, and we're good to go. I say this because she has my name in the Weird game. Weird waitress lady chanting werewolf lady gnome tried to murder me with a chainsaw. Well, just another day in the Midwest. Just yeah. another day in the life of the goddamn boss. Another day in Minnesota. Oh, now. Yeah, we just in Minnesota. It's like something has started eating them before they've been cooked. That's called sushi. Raw. Well, yo, know, I've, I've seen people like <laughs> Superior Conundrum Cracker. Oh, boy. Oh, oh shit. Hang on. I accidentally went to the main menu. <laughs> Good thing it saved it for you. you. How much taxpayer money did you spend? <laughs> that's a billion, right? Three million. No, that's a million. Million? Okay. 25719 And four cents. All right, that's not that bad. That's much better than uh, other things. I'm, I'm all right with my taxpayer dollars being used to uh, get rid of the gnomes. You know Small what? price to pay for uh, no gnomes. <laughs> if my tax dollars are going to Nelson Tethers, I think I'm all right. I thought you liked short stacks. These are I the mean, gnomes you want. These aren't these aren't short stack gnomes. They they're are garden gnomes. They're gar yeah garden gnomes. Yeah, like Gnome Chomsky. Oh, these are asshole or uh, gnomes. Gnomeo and Juliet. Uh, oh, <laughs> Siggy had to bring that one up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Found oh, Isaac Downer's no. ID badge. Looks like he came this way sometime before the accident. Oh Why God, was Lobster, uh, Mike Lobb, oh. out here as well? Reminds me of the, uh, the, what, 80s, 90s? I remember when I used to have to use that, like, for university class. Uh. Wow. I'm not even that old. It's just... Well, they were still around for a while, so... None of these gears fit on this door. Oh, like, uh... oh, you have to put the gears back together, back at the shack, I guess. The love shack. Love shack. Love shack. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna vault us in. Hang on. <coughs> uh, gum. Noom. Fucking gnomes, man. I hate gnomes. <laughs> They're so gnomish. <laughs> they know gnome bad. Just halflings with bad anatomy. Oh god. Oh, wow. Every everyone's gone now. <laughs> okay, let's get this gear back together. Oh boy. <laughs> Bobble headed halflings. Oh, it's just okay. a puzzle. Okay, alright, so this should be simple enough. It's a gear. Gosh, I hope I don't get robbed again. That would be weird. Yeah. Oh, so they actually click in place. Yes. Or do they? That one might go on the bottom one. Yeah, like... Ah... Uh... Yeah, this one's fairly simple since it clicks for you. Oh, there's a little line here too. Hang on. Okay. All right. Oh, that makes it even more. Um... Oh. oh, that's like a little. Uh... Yeah. That's cute. It's like a snowflake. I think my brother's playing League again. I'm sorry. <laughs> If he is, I'll tell you if I recognize him in curses. Fucking Yasuo. Yasuo, not again. Duralia all over again. <laughs> See? <laughs> what? <laughs> the thing you sent me. Oh, fuck! Fuck! No! 
No. <laughs> Sheriff, I believed in you. Come into it's our always town the and cops. pretend you know how everything works. I think we I'm starting to figure it out. Small towns. <laughs> really? They gotta solve the puzzles. What a fucking move. Oh god God. Please take the gun. I think he has a gun. Do you have a gun? You're an FBI agent. Yes, guy. Nelson Tethers does have an uh, in fact serious? an N nineteen eleven. I mean, but he could have Sheriff also... says crooked as they come. He Looks like he sabotaged my though. snowmobile. And then had two guns. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh, oh no. Okay. Oh, it's only tile rotate, rotating. Rotate tiles to create a path from the fuel tank to okay. the exhaust. This yeah, is simple. Tile rotation. Got it. <coughs> uh, At so least the, it's the top left is the one that you start with, right? Maybe. Or maybe not. I have no I idea. I think, yeah, you Wait. turn it to the yeah. oh. end. There you go. Oh. There you go. We're and finding it. now them. I have to put it out to... Turn... Turn, uh, no, the one under it. Oh, wait, oh actually. well, that one. Yeah, that actually, one. Yeah. There you go. There you go, Wait. Yeah. Hold on, that didn't. That doesn't line up. Uh, correct. Yeah, there, there you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's an actual, it's an actual whole ass picture. Yeah. This is great. See what happens when you put your minds to it? You better keep on your dreams love. I'm happy but love me. Get better. That's a lot of taxpayer money used to fix a frickin' smoke snowmobile. Hold on, I gotta send this mail to make sure that that's fixed by pipe. <coughs> yeah, I if, you, if you're a, a newcomer in a small town and they all act weird, you have to assume literally everyone is in cahoots. No you have to assume that it's a small town cult. I, yeah. I, to I told the chat before everybody came in here about my story with the diner in the small town. I but I don't know. believe I've told any of you. I so. don't remember you telling me. Tell me. I, was visiting my, I was visiting my friend Stu, <laughs> LMG1, uh, in a small town because we live close to each other. Uh, and he used to grow up there. Or he, he grew up there. Or I, I think he grew up there. One of his parents lives there, is all I know, at the current juncture. And, uh, oh, well, small gang, small gang is right here. Yeah, dingus. Camouflage. Yeah, um, and we went to a diner to grab some grub. And, uh, they're like, oh, well, you're a new face around here. Uh, do you want some fried mushrooms? And I said, I don't think I've ever had a fried mushroom before. <laughs> and the waitress looked at me as if I had just shot her dog. <laughs> and I shit you not, with the, all of the conversation going on behind me, I must have said that loud enough to the, where everyone behind me turned around to look at me. That's I don't know, scary. I don't know what it is about fried mushrooms in that town, but apparently me saying I've never had a fried mushroom before was enough for people to turn around and look at me. Was this a small town in the Midwest? Oh, fuck yes, absolutely oh, it was. That's scary. That makes sense. That makes sense. No, I... I was very... I was very unnerved. <laughs> I've. You're just like in fucking Fargo. You <laughs> think? 
<laughs> the Silent Hill music starts playing. It's it's not an often occur it's not a frequent occurrence where I feel like I'm about to die, but <laughs> that was one of them. <laughs> Everybody pulls out mushroom caps and puts them on their heads. Just start doing a dance. Like, oh my god, these people are going to tie me to tractors and then drive away. <laughs> Got it. Bev grew up in a small town. We could ask her if that's just a normal thing. Oh, man. Yeah, because she said but that small towns are fucking boring. The lady was nice enough to give me a, f a free plate of fried mushrooms, so I might be infected. I might not be, but... <laughs> it was like five years ago. <laughs> oh. I, I used to live in a small town South, but I don't remember any particular um, dish that they were hung up about. I many cults? I think with Southern I mean, small other than Baptists. Well, I, that, that, yeah. I feel like with Southern small towns, they're like way different than North Midwestern small towns. From what I could assume, they got a Espe different flavor. Yeah, especially if it's in the Bible Belt. But I, I wouldn't know. I've never been to a the local churches. I, I also remember. <laughs> I remember the the specifically because the waitress the waitress ran off to get me some <laughs> fried mushrooms for free. And I remember saying to my friend's mom, "Did I do something wrong?" And she told me everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> Um, really which, which <laughs> did <laughs> not instill confidence. <laughs> Things did not feel fine. <laughs> it Everything did not feel good. fine, but the fried mushrooms were delicious, I will say. Oh That's good. They were That's, pretty good. That's really scary and incredibly ominous to say to someone. <laughs> That's, that's, really that's that the moment. least comforting thing to say to someone in that situation. Okay, Everything's but, gonna be fine. <laughs> but points to her if she could see that it was getting awkward and just made it worse. She's like, I'm digging into this. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fine, slips potassium pill into your drink. <laughs> oh boy, potassium. <laughs> Too much of that will kill you. Oh. oh. Wait, what's potassium again? An element. It's the stuff yeah. that's in bananas. Oh, it's, yeah, bananas. I was gonna be like, yeah, bananas have that. We fucking love potassium. If you eat yeah. 500 bananas in a single city, you'll die. If you yeah. eat anything, if you eat 500 of anything that's that large in a single city, you'll die. It, yeah, don't eat a lot right, of one thing. But you'll, you'll die of die. potassium poisoning. It's like, yeah, it's like almonds. You'll die of cyanide poisoning. Yeah. Almonds have cyanide in them? Yeah, yeah, it's really. Uh, I gotta pee. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gotta okay, go piss out the sun now. I, I was gonna say that, like, that there's a reason why almonds are expensive, right? Because it's a very hard, it's like, like a lucrative process to get rid of the cyanide around the almond. No. No. It has small traces in it, but it's not enough to harm you. Then what was the nut where it had, like, it's expensive and nut. it's poisonous? <clears throat> My nut. <laughs> My nuts. These nuts. Oh. Cashews? That sounds... It was cashews, yeah. It was... Or chestnuts. I know it was, like, one of the nuts where it's, like, there's a shell outside of it or something. Um, let me see. Nuts with the... I don't think fugu's a nut. <laughs> now it is. Haha. -ha. Nuts with poisonous shells. Uh, the shell of a cashew nut is poisonous. Okay, okay, I was uh, close. Pistachio, mango, and cashew, and poison ivy are in the same family. That is also- Cashews are poisonous? They have- their shells are it's poisonous. Their I'm shells. fucked! That's why cashews are expensive. That's also why pistachios- well, no, because I chew on pistachio shells, so... Yeah. Well, I do too. <laughs> I don't like nuts, so oh, I- All I'm, stone I'm... fruit pits have cyanide in it, like cherries and stuff? Yes. That, you know what? Yeah, there's like that new pistachio drink at Starbucks where it's like pistachio, like in the tone of Lucio. <laughs> I'm not one for pistachios though, but we used to feed our bird for pistachios sometimes. Gotta get a Dunkachino. <laughs> I fucking love pistachios, man. 
I wish I, I could to like them. We used to have a pecan tree uh, in North Carolina. Ooh. Ah. I'm, gonna make, uh, I'm gonna make myself a fucking chino. We hey, have right. like a we have an avocado tree that or as they say in huh? oh, I was say we make pecan pie or as they say down south pecan. Pecan. Yeah. Pecan. No, like we have an avocado tree, but after a few freezes it stopped growing, but it's oh, still man. there. Like the tree is still blooming. So we're assuming the avocados are just really high up and they're just not falling. You guys got me missing. thinking about my my pecan praline coffee that I've got. Ooh. Oh, man. That's, that sounds nice. You just I, say coffee, and I immediately well, retched. What, whenever... <laughs> well, good for no, you, Tammy. Whenever, yeah, I mean, whenever, like whenever, I smell, whenever I smell my, pe my pecan praline <laughs> coffee, I always think, man, I feel so bad for the people who don't drink coffee right now. <laughs> I'm, I have, like, other options. I'm good. I'm glad that you're happy. But holy shit. <laughs> Every, really funny when I used to be the assistant manager at a gas station and like they'd keep trying to give me free coffee and I say, hey, I don't drink coffee. And everybody would always look at me like I th grew like three heads and they just look at me and whisper, how do you survive? People get offended over things and it's like, I just don't like this food preference or I never tried this food before. It's like, what do you oh, mean you yeah. don't like capitalism juice? What do you mean you don't like fresh mushrooms? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you don't eat biscuits? No, and gravy? that's it though, right? That... <laughs> but I mean, no, I don't care if other people drink coffee. I just, I personally do not like the taste of coffee or mocha. No, that's fair. I like. Uh, there was like this. There's this new drink at Starbucks called the uh, almond. I think it's almond milk, uh, <coughs> black sugar. Espresso? Black it's actually sugar? pretty good. Holy no, shit. No, not black sugar, brown sugar, sorry. Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> I'm getting colors mixed up. But it was really good. <laughs> but holy shit, that was way too much caffeine for me, and I was actively buzzing in my brain. I had to drink a lot of water. <laughs> it's <laughs> just it. sugar with ink in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's I a remember, ink squid. Do you know those, um, the, uh, uh, wait, overly sarcastic productions? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Where they do I've all the tro they do all the trope videos. Well, yeah. the 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 character known as Red on that on that website, uh, they tried to make one of those espresso whip drinks. Oh. And and they're like, uh, I don't know if this will actually do anything to me, uh, but I'm I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try, and this drink is pretty good. And then they just started popping off on Twitter, just like. A million tweets a second after they drank this coffee and they're just yeah. talking about it. Like, oh, it's pretty creamy and it's really good and it's kind of bitter a little bit, but I kind of like it. And, and, and I'm just like, and you're saying it's not affecting you? I'm like, no, it's not affecting me. <laughs> the fuck it isn't? No, it's like... Uh... You're bouncing off the wall. Right All right. So when, I, when my friends were coming down, I asked him if he could make me uh, a weed snack like he did before but, oh, shit. But, but the weed snack he made me before he, apparently it was way too strong for him and his friends who regularly eat them and I had like small bits of them and it didn't do much except that one time on Ding and Rumpa where I got too high to leave but I asked him to make me some more and he halved it he halved the, uh, the serving size of weed butter and I kept eating the cookies without realizing it was not doing anything for me, I think, because I didn't feel different. That's going to be me. That's going to okay. be me my first time. But, so for the longest time, for the longest time until, like, I admitted it to a couple of other people and Hams, I was the only one that knew Siggy was high during that portion of Dang and Rampa, and that's where the infamous you decide thing came from, you and high. Yeah, because I think I was high. And then, like, Siggy dropped out of the call and, t and DMs me, I'm high. <laughs> mm. What do you mean you're high? I ate some weed snacks. <laughs> what the fuck, Siggy? <laughs> and that was it. And, like, I, I I kept it secret for a while. And then, like, I think... And right here on twitch.tv slash distortion devil, you get the exclusive first scoop. Uh, known, known... Does Siggy is high. <laughs> Known drawer, Siggy Q, uh, got high <laughs> once. It's left. You decide. <laughs> and then I said, What the heck? And then, 
And then Omo Chow said, To bust a nut, just hold down B button until fully charged. Then release. You, you can, can use it to defeat enemies. <laughs> I mean, because, you, because didn't act, like, you didn't act that much different than normal, so nobody... I was just more lightheaded, which I felt really happy, so there was that. But these Not, were like, not like Connor when he gets drunk. <laughs> I'm getting I there. Can't, I can't send porn to Connor when he's drunk and streaming. <laughs> That's true. That is, that is a rule. I have to actually uh, hide yeah. the picture. Or uh, Luke when he's drunk. Uh, Eric, then, my, then my audience will be like uh, Eric, have you ever gotten high or drunk? Um, not often uh, Not on I haven't never gotten high on like Drug drugs But like I've been I've been prescription drug high <laughs> Same. Ah yes, I remember Oxy Connor. That was a fun segment of my life. <laughs> I <laughs> legit when I was high on like medication for like a whole week, I was just d- right. drawing way too much. Oh, shit. Medication is different. It, it is different, and <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about recreational stuff. Yeah, oh. no. Nah. Um, no, nah, it was literally I've... the weed butter right now. I've I've only ever been high accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> Accidentally like, in high, like, like I ate a brownie once, and my cousin was like, "Did did you eat this brownie?" I said, "Yeah," and he's like, "That was a weed brownie," and I'm like, "Oh no!" And <laughs> oh no, time slows down. And and then, <laughs> wait, hang on here, I, I gotta, and and, and I was like, oh. <gasps> And then it was like. Oh, you just went straight. Wait. Like, <laughs> hang on. Hang on. It's, it's here somewhere. No, I, 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 I ate it and I was like, ha, this thing ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. And I didn't know who I was. <laughs> No, when I and, uh, when I had to eat the granted, rest of my uh, weed snack, which was a Rice Krispie treat, so I think that's why I was stronger. Aside from the higher dosage, I had to eat the rest harder. of it because I think it was going bad. So I was like, "All right, I'll eat this whole bar and see what happens." And I laid down for however long hours I did. Woke up, wrote some shit down, then went right back to my bed to sleep. <laughs> I was just really high. And I was just sleeping. <laughs> I am too straight edge. I guess. I thought you were gay. That's the only thing about you that's straight. <laughs> but, uh, but, but. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you guys are right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I've never gotten drunk or high or anything. My, I've probably been tipsy. Never drunk. My metabolism is actually too too intense for me to actually be drunk for more than like a few minutes. Oh, you and me both, Eric. It shakes your hand. That just sucks. Isaac, We're thin I'm bitches. The FBI, little the skinny bitches. Of puzzle research. <laughs> if you're still in there, don't worry. I'm coming in to rescue you. Nelson's uh, yes. three gears seem to come apart, and it looks like the pieces can be rearranged into one giant gear. Can you get the gear in to solve this puzzle piece? I don't know, Blue from Blue's Clues. Oh, Jesus you Christ. Get it Hang in. Ge- oh, no. Oh, oh no! no. no. <laughs> so you had to solve it to create a gear, and they're just gonna make you tear it apart anyway. Okay, so immediately I'm assuming um, the yellow pieces they could be on the outside, and the small red pieces that make like a triangle. Same with the blue ones could also be on the outside, and all the other shit's on the inside. Oh. Oh, oh, I've I've linked something. You've done it. Oh God. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I um. I don't oh, think you linked it. They're just I, on top I, of I, each I, other. No, I did nope. it again. No, see, they're, they're both conjoined. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right, so I guess do it with the last one then. Uh, okay. So, uh, as I was saying, I watched Golden Conway, the entirety of it. Oh yeah. Over the over a couple of two weeks. It's really fucking good. <laughs> good. <laughs> I I showed Siggy the uh, the goes wrong show. Yeah, the I like that. Goes wrong lot. show. Yeah, so basically, it's kind of like a Saturday Night Live thing, but like a British. But every skit <gasps> they do, everything goes wrong in the skit. But it's like purposely gone wrong, but it's made to look like it's not. Like everything is just falling to fucking pieces. Connor, I think oh. just you're you're overlapping pieces on top of each other. No, they're the they're sticking together. They are sticking together. They are okay. Okay, so uh, do you want to put the last of that blue one with that red one? Huh. Huh. What? Huh. Oh shit! There you go. Oh. Connor, you mastermind. Ah. 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 Impossible puzzle. Welcome to my puzzle. Okay, so then, yeah, room. I was right about the other then, piece. Yeah, welcome other to my pieces. hooker palace. <laughs> I did it. I was right on these other pieces. Please don't leave. I have no friends. We're right here. Don't make me cough like this. Or I guess I should be coughing. It will get the don't sickness out. Don't eat ass not down in with the, the hall. Oh. Don't eat ass in the halls. <laughs> Don't eat ass in the halls. Don't my, eat yeah. ass. Ha <laughs> ha. Just kidding. Dares into my room. Nerd on. Thank you for waiting for the party of 16. Oh, wow. Smartman. Press B to nut. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we don't we don't eat ass in this establishment. We consume dairy. Add the yummy logic to dairy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can't eat legs then. <laughs> Once again, my my biological form is oppressing me from doing what I want. Damn. What kind of fucked up don't worry. is this? Is that it? It's I think that's it. Don't worry, Siggy Pussy's kosher. Oh, Yay! Yeah, right. <laughs> Thank God. Seventy-five million dollars just to open the door. I did it! Oh! Oh! I've been shot. Oh! Oh! You all right? Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, hey, babe. Hey, babe, just ponders and then notes. into my realm. <laughs> oh, God, it's the crow puzzle again. Oh, God, no. Horse. That was a tricky yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> it made all these weird sounds. Look, they're not even touching. My immersion's gone. My immersion. Yeah, my immersion oh, is fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. We're finally going to get to the bottom of what's happening inside of this eraser factory. Oh, what no. the fuck are I bear- Junkrat is in here. Oh, yeah, I'm going go to I'm gonna kill Isaac. He's there. not going to make any more races. Somebody's getting rubbed out. <laughs> Het universum saint for mine! <laughs> I actually have a, uh, I have an eraser I had since, like, school. <laughs> and it was called, uh, for big mistakes. Like, it was a really big eraser, and I just always put the, the eraser next to my face. And just do a thumbs up. Because that's when I was making I swear I'm not going to hurt you. I just need to clear this path and we can get out of here. 
Nelson's path is blocked by a giant Scoggins eraser. Cut the support to drop the obstacle, but don't drop Nelson by mistake. <laughs> oh, this is easy enough. Oh, wait a minute. What the fuck? Oh, it's just like Jackbox all over again. Ah, uh, yeah, so the Jackbox party pack. It's eight. It's eight. Yeah, I just traced it with my finger. Yep. Oh well, if 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 it's if it's if it's, if it's, if it's, if it's, if it's gonna be that easy. Then, well. Sorry. Yeah. It's like not. That's not even a puzzle. That's literally just to trace it with your finger. Yeah. That was. Connor's like, oh no, everyone else, we got this. <laughs> Good work, stuff. team. Yeah, I was about to say visual stuff. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Oh, I see. No, he got rubbed out. No. Hark! Another puzzle! Hark! Hark! Gum on the left. Gum on the left. Gumu, gumu, no. Rotate the tiles and. If X is fine, please. Hmm. If you can get this furnace hot enough, it may blast away the remaining debris. Pack objects into the opening and don't let them overlap. <laughs> okay. All right. It's cool guy. Cool guy. It's cool guy. Who Think remembers safety. cool guy? Uh, subscribe if you remember cool guy. I well, what the cool what the guy. fuck is this? You see this? Uh, Where is my mouse? <clears throat> Huh. It's so far oh. away. So far away. I think <clears throat> I think Skoog needs to like go on like Skoog. the bottom right. Like Zoing Skoog. Fit there. Like it's time to be a son. What is this puzzle? Hang on. I'm coming, Isaac. Uh, I'm a little stuck here, but I'll be through in no time. <laughs> yeah, your mouse is not like... Yeah, this is a little fucked right now. I have no idea what... Okay, I think we're... Okay, think it we're... seemed to have fixed it. Yeah. <laughs> like it was what? a little weird. No, it was it was it was like clicking in weird places. Okay, so oh, and you just gotta put everything in there and not overlap. I have to make sure that nothing overlaps. Mm -hmm. Oh! 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 oh. 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 All they click together. Oh. So be well, that makes you. things much. That easier. makes things much easier. <laughs> Sorry, I'm coughing in your mic. It's okay. Perfectly fine. Oh, that that uh, that poster links up with that statue, the little jaggedy bit. Uh. On uh, on on the front of the body part. Yeah. No, the the. Chest. No, not the nose. Yeah, on the chest. The chest. On the chest. Ah! Uh, uh, that I, oh, that well, I, I heard something click again. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! It was the um the the saw and the thingy. Maduger. Oh god! Oh god! I I oh what the fuck! <laughs> oh, that saw totally uh would match in with the back of the statue's head, like the hair. Uh, no, the the, the handsaw. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the handsaw goes on the back of his hair. What just happened? That? Wait, is it, is it, like? Oh no, it's not. I guess. But what if it's no? 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 But what if it's, no. what if it's wait, wait. But what if it's this? Hi, Vsauce yes. Michael here. Yay. 
Just what Eric said. <laughs> Hooray! 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 Are we trying to summon OSHA? Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> OSHA, uh, the forbidden one. I summon you, mighty OSHA. OSHA doesn't do jack shit. Oh, yeah, that goes. I summon fit. you, OSHA, the forbidden one. And they always alert when they were coming. So, like, my store, is with the Burger King I worked at, would always make us clean top to bottom that day. Huh! <laughs> And then, like, <laughs> uh, fuck that, honestly. <laughs> but <laughs> this is just getting more and more ridiculous. Oh, Skook. Skook. Like, I... I'm gonna get. Oh, 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 god. Yeah. Oh, god. Yeah. What is. Yeah. Oh, god. <laughs> what is happening? Uh, uh, well, things are. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, yeah, keep it there. There. No, no, no. There. Yes. There. <laughs> that. Yeah. He's, try he's trying to grab the other last piece. That's why. Oh. Uh, <coughs> wasn't letting him. Yeah. There it goes. And that one goes on the bottom, I'm assuming. Wait, around there. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Excellent. What a nightmare. Ooh. I love Osha Tetris. Did it. <laughs> it's, just ah! like, it's literally just like bagging oh. groceries at the grocery store. Osha man, take me by the, by the hand. Take me to the take land the of the gnomes. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, Nelson. Why are you like this? Gum? <laughs> hate Nelson. Gum? Gumu gumu no? Almost there. Of if Nelson could just maneuver the three hydraulic lifts into place, he could reach the office door, drag the arrows to create a command sequence, but beware of the bear traps. <laughs> oh my God. Drag and drop the arrows onto the monitor to construct a command line. Each arrow moves all lifts at once. Commands execute in order from left to right in rows from top to bottom. A lift will be stopped by a wall or a barrier. A lift is stop will stop moving when it reaches its goal. Don't let any lift encounter a bear trap or it will be destroyed. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so All right, right away. wait a minute. So hang on, let me just uh No, you gotta put it in this in the green box. Uh you see the sequence key. Uh, uh. I'd put that, if that's going to be your first thing, put it in the first, left to right, top to bottom. Oh, what the f- Whoa, uh what? Oh. Oh. Oh, no. What the fuck? <coughs> oh. Huh? No! Yep. You're being a gnome. Solve you? my puzzle, no. Nelson. Do it. Do it. This guy needs a vacation. Oh, definitely. He's just gonna stick Yo. the back in there like it's gonna work. No Malone. Literally, literally, <laughs> when they gave him this assignment, he was literally falling asleep at his desk doing crossword puzzles from the newspaper on his desk. And now he's fucking discovering gnomes. Yep. That's what happens when you're lazy, kids. <laughs> the gnomes will get Monty! You. Gnome! The gnomes. The nuzzles. Oh god. Astro's nuzzles pounces on you. Ooh, you're so warm. Yeah, I, I didn't notice your balls from across the floor. I <laughs> actually. Necky, wacky, I hey, actually I'm, your balls, I'm, stuff, I'm, like. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> this is their balls. I get it. Their balls. Where? What's <laughs> that? What's that? No. What is this? I don't know. 
Hold on, let's see if I can do it. Let me, let me tell me. Water. So yeah, I don't. Don't force it. Where? What is this? Hello. Ew, oh, whoa, what is this? I don't Ew, know. My Someone milk. tell me. I swear <laughs> to God. Duh. <laughs> oh. There. I put in the effort just for you. Okay. A lift will stop moving when it reaches its goal. Do not left any. Do not. Don't left any lift. Don't let any lift encounter a bear trap or it will be destroyed. Each arrow okay. moves all lifts at once. Oh. Yeah. So I think. Um. Hmm. Um. Well, these <coughs> aren't bear traps, so. No, so you could obviously. wedge, so you could wedge uh, something into that, so that, like for example, if you wanted to move another thing to the right or up, ah, it would stop. Okay. It would stop that. So, yeah. that would put you're number right. one onto no, the picture. You're right. You're right. You're right. So, bam, bam, bam. Eh, eh, eh. And then eh. And then eh. And then eh would be eh, eh, eh. And oh no. And then. Wait, did it say that each lift will stop when it reaches its the thing? <laughs> Drag and drop It'll arrows be. onto the monitor to construct a command line. Each arrow moves all lifts at once. Commands execute in order from left to right in rows from top to bottom. A lift will be stopped by a wall or other barrier. A lift will stop moving when it reaches its goal. Okay, so Don't... you can move one and two all the way up there and three. Uh, so can... for one, it'd be bam, 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 bam. 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 I just got a huge craving for Kraft macaroni and cheese for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Do they look like little noodles? This one will, will go like bam. 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 So the middle will be... And then you... And three will be stuck at this barrel. So make this one go. You made this one go back, so this one would go bam, 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 bam. And then this one go bam. I think they stop moving when they reach the bam. Yep, exactly. Bam. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. So it would be bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Yep. Bam, up, up, right up. Bam, bam, bam. Right? That Here we go! <laughs> you good, buddy? Yeah. <coughs> 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 Ow. Oh no. Oh, it's one of these glasses. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh. Yeah, I figured two was gonna stay there. It said it stops when it reaches its goal, and that means it. But I thought it was supposed to be oh, in no. order! Yeah, sorry. You wasted taxpayers' money, Connor, to move boxes. Oh, thank God it doesn't undo your things. Yeah, you were on the right track. Bam, 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 bam. 
Yeah, pretty much do what bam, you did. Except bam, do the bam, different thing with three. bam. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. In the middle, yeah. So, it doesn't matter that it would go one, three, two. I don't think so. I guess not. It didn't if it does, that. I will literally fly to Telltale Games and double destroy their company. I don't. I don't oh wait, are they back? No. <coughs> Why the fuck would they be back? I thought there was a thing where they were back, but I don't remember. You go back in time and we're back at Dinosaur remember. Story. Yeah. This better work. I, yeah, I was say, I don't think it's going to be. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was trying yeah, to say. hydraulic headache, all right. I was no, trying was to say a before. I was trying to say before, I was like, two's not going to move, but Eric's like, yep. I, <laughs> I, like, when it said, it, when it reaches its goal, I assumed. <coughs> I, ass I made an assumption. No, I was I was sure as soon as it hit that it was gonna stop. Hmm. I may made a made a miscalculation there at the beginning, but and now I'm ready. The wording will always get you. That's it. Get in there, Let's Nelson. Get out of here. Isaac. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Don't close your damn eyes. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, they caught the bullets with their teeth. No, no, I. We need to call the Coast Guard. We need to call somebody else. What the fuck? Why did they want Isaac? He has the well Chaos done, Emeralds. Agent. Tethers. Heck of a job. You got that factory back open, and the president is pleased as punch. Really? Well, he was never actually aware of the West Wing's racer shortage. But rest assured, I'm sure he's happy Crazy. to strike anything through. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Now back Someone to work. Else. Sir, about the factory foreman, Isaac Davner. Doesn't concern us, Tethers. Any missing persons can be handled by local law enforcement. But... You did your job. That'll be all. <clears throat> oh, okay. Hey, Tethers, what's a nine-letter word for baffling? Recondite, sir. Ha. Huh. Thanks a million, Tethers. No wonder you're our star puzzle agent. Thank you, sir. What an office. Professor Layton would be proud. What the fuck and just happened? What? That's it? Yeah, that's it, I guess. It's one of those short games that take longer because of puzzles. Huh? <laughs> and nothing was solved thanks to the FBI. <laughs> oh man, when's Telltale gonna put out the sequel? <laughs> I can't. Oh, there, oh wait, there is a sequel. No, there, there is. There is a Puzzle Agent too. I was led to believe this game would be a lot longer than that, but holy shit. <laughs> Just too smart. Are you sure? Yo, what the fuck? That sure was a game. <laughs> that ending, though. I feel <laughs> like I got a bad. I feel like I got a bad ending or something. <laughs> it feels like it, doesn't it? it feels like a I I dream. feel like I got. I feel like I got a bad ending. <laughs> Did I? Chat, I'm okay if you spoil me. Did I get the bad ending? Go ahead and spoil me. No, that's just the end. That's the ending. According to the walkthroughs, that's it. I beat the game. Yep. Whoa. <laughs> you did it, Connor. You're a wow. gamer now. Wow. 
Wow. I was kind of expecting a little, a little bit more. Not gonna lie. I mean, there is Puzzle Agent Ooh, what? 2. Yeah, there man, is Puzzle what Agent 2. A... I was expecting the last puzzle to be hard. <laughs> Me too, kind of. But, like... Apparently the logs were... <laughs> the logs, the logs were the and the birds were, like... They should have been the final boss. Yeah. I, uh, you know... No, I for for this game for what it was worth and for how much for how much fun I got out of it for how little it was worth absolutely if you want to pick a puzzle agent please pick a puzzle agent it's a lot of fun uh yeah I might stream puzzle agent 2 uh in the near future if people are willing holy shit that game only took like what five hours to complete an hour for each. No, there's more than five puzzles. Yes, there was. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I I don't know why I said that. My brain just. <laughs> Let's see part two. We'll play part two another time. Wow. I just can't believe they left us on that though. Left like, you agreed. Like, oh, gnomes kidnapped Isaac Davner. Leave it to the local police, Nelson. What? Gnomes are involved! Fuck you. So, he wasn't there alone and the gnomes weren't there. And the gnomes helped you solve that puzzle to get in there. Were... Were the no? Did you help the gnomes get to him? Yeah, I think he set up the puzzles to keep the gnomes out. Maybe oh not my god. bad at puzzles. This game Maybe is 11 you. years old? Apparently yeah, it is. Yeah, sure is. Nelson Tethers. Puzzle agent. Flathead. <laughs> You're a prodigious puzzle genius. Ooh. Wait, what is this? Huh? Uh, I think they're throwing a ball. Maybe? Ball. Ball. <clears throat> where the hell is the start point and where the hell's the end point? Bam, 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 bam. Shut the fuck up, Telson's pencil sharpener. <laughs> Alright, hang on. Bam. 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 The girl is trying to save Isaac from you? Yeah, it seems so. I don't but... think... Solve this shit. Eh. 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 Can you look at like the question again? Just to see like whom's to the fuck you even need to 
The varsity muskrats are still working hard at Hank's window shop to help them complete a pass without breaking any glass. Breaking any glass. Oh, so... It doesn't matter who you start with. Uh, I personally would probably start with the one that's the most enclosed, which is down at the bottom. So it doesn't need to be like one because it's letting you like double back on lines. So no, 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 uh, uh, what you had it, you, you do what you were doing. That way, go, yeah, and then go there, and then have him pass to the, no, that's, hmm. So somebody could pass it, and then just immediately pass it back. Can I? Mm, it is, I guess it is letting you double line. No, because when I try to double line, it goes, oh, it does okay. that. Okay. <clears throat> what if I try to pass to a different person? Fuck. <clears throat> so what if I... This get passed to. This is the only person that he can throw this to without crashing into any mirrors. Yeah, he may be... Mm, let's see. <clears throat> Who can the one in the bottom corner... The bottom on left. Oh. Well, there you go. Do the, do the middle one, bottom, middle, up to that top, and then go down to the one that, the, the bottom left, or no, bottom right. No, no, uh, top left to bottom right. Her. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hmm. Try, okay, try bottom, bottom middle to start. And then go to top left. And then go to bottom right. And then go to middle left, you see? And then... <laughs> I'm just, I'm just here, I'm like, kind of like, grab your hands. <laughs> I'd buy that for 75,000 taxpayer dollars. I'm just like, Connor, let me grab your hand. <laughs> let me let me guide your hips. Are there any more I've been missing? Hot Hawks. Once again, Loner Steve needs you to help to attach bags to birds. Whoa, wait, all right. We're, we're at this again? Okay, hang on. <laughs> one, one, 
two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. <coughs> oh, God. A mallard may carry two gnomes per leg an owl, one point five, and a bluebird, one. Every bird carrying something is carrying its maximum. Birds may team up on heavy loads, each carrying what he can. Freight must be balanced evenly between a bird's two legs. Lines cannot be crossed, or the shipment will become tangled. Yeah. So it's obviously one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, if this is one and a half, three, and then. Have the the little blue bird also help with that bag? Yeah, because the three for the owl. And then oh, that leaves this guy all alone. Huh? Every bird shown carrying something is carrying its maximum. I feel like the owl and that blue bird are correct with that bag. So it comes down to like the other stuff, I guess. Do you have to use every bird? The birds have to be carrying their maximum, it said. Right? <coughs> Do you, it, does it say every bird has to be used? A mallard can carry two gnomes per leg, an owl 1.5, and a bluebird 1. Every bird shown. Every bird shown carrying something is carrying its maximum. Every bird shown carrying something in that picture. Show well, you. but it's not even showing a. Yeah, but it's just showing you to illustrate. Because mm. if okay, so hear me out. If you don't use that blue bird that's under the owl, you can use the duck. Like if the blue bird under the owl is not carrying anything, and then use the duck for the bags. Is it right? Yeah! Oh, okay. Well, Thank it, God. It didn't say to you, like, if I feel like it would have specified you had to use all the birds. Yeah. If you had to use all the birds. Yeah. All sitting up and ready to go. That's not a good hint. <laughs> Oh god, I don't like doing bugs in boxes. You know what? Fuck it. 
I beat the shit out of this game. I think I'm I'm confident in calling that a, a beaten game right there. Oh, yeah. I'm proud of you. Nelson oh, yeah. just I, takes a big old bite out of his pencil. I, uh, I did yeah, it all on my so. own. Yeah. We're just your brain cells. <laughs> we're your three yeah. brain cells. I did it all by myself. I just have so, two terabytes of hard storage. And where are those terabytes, Tappy? Enlighten us. <laughs> Rabbit is still streaming, so I'm gonna go raid him. Okay. I think. Whoa, shit! I think our raid message is gonna be Bjorn is sus. <laughs> Bjorn is sus. Bjorn. Isus. All right. I'm gonna go raid. Hey, Mr. Rabbit. And you'll see both of us tomorrow. Twitch.tv slash the unexpectables for Gateway. Hell yeah. Keep it real, nomies. Keep it real, nomies. <coughs> Nuzzles. Uh, I will see you all tomorrow. Uh, uh, right here for more Yakuza as well. Ooh. Nice. Pro probably going to be wrapping up the main campaign for Yakuza 2. <sighs> I got to start playing Yakuza 0 soon. Yes, you should. Because I got it for Christmas. It's Christmas. really good. Yeah. I got it, too. Yeah. All right, take care, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Be good. Bye. Bye. <coughs> Sorry.